and welcome to West Washington live stream here in frigid, frigid North Davies High School as we speak on top of an iceberg. That That is true. Uh, Brad Mills, it's, it, it is cold, it is chilly, it is rainy. You couldn't ask for better football weather, I think. I tell you what, on the frozen tundra of whatever this field's called, we're going to have a heck of a football game today. So, This is the start of sectional play for many uh, teams around the state. There have been a few games canceled, and 5 and 6A don't play, but everything 4 and under is going to be playing tonight. So lots of games out there. As the wind, as you as will hear. As the here, wind <laughs> picks up. I tell you, if, if 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 Chicago is known as the windy city, then this is the windy town. Yeah, I agree. We we didn't have uh, wind for about 30 minutes while we were setting up, and then it's been windy ever since. And we got the battle of the flags going on in the field now. As North Davies tucked the field with their um, Clemson Tiger flag there, and uh, West Washington comes out there with their uh, flying W, reminiscent of Wisconsin there. So, and the uh, I think they had the flag out there for. Uh, in honor of Coach Bowsman there for the gift of life, I think, that they didn't get to have last week, so they've got that out there. But holy shnikes, it's dropped 30 degrees. It has. It was it was about 65 when I left Campbellsburg, and it's probably 35. <laughs> it feels like it. And, you know, this, this is reminiscent. This is gut check time right now. For the Senators, this is gut check time. You're on the road. It's cold. It's nasty. There's about 34 fans in the stands. <laughs> Well, there's probably more here. They're just sitting in their cars. Yeah, sitting in the cars, hanging out, waiting for the game to uh, start. So we're seven minutes away, or seven seconds away from the, <laughs> the kick, but we're going to go through the, the opening uh, ceremonies of a coin toss, uh, which it was already done prior to the game. So, um, you know, it's it's one of those that they do it, but it's already already taken place. So, so Craig, let me ask you, we heard Coach Gibby there. What do you, what do you think really is going to be the key tonight for – for the Senators. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it's line play. <laughs> line play, line play, line play. The more the line does, the better this is going to be. And I think we could see a game tonight where it's three yards and a cloud of smoke. Yeah. Uh, we're going to – I I don't see us throwing the ball a whole lot tonight because of the way the weather is. I can see us handing it to our big big back Bobby uh, Stevens out of the backfield, or we can go with Roper uh, McFeeters out of the backfield. And if neither one of them are working, we've always got Holden. So we've agreed that the frigid conditions here of wind are actually advantage Senators. Yeah, yeah. So it, to be honest, I really like the uh, setup here because we've got the coaching staff right behind us. They're blocking all the wind for us, or yeah. at least as much as we could we could hope. Uh, so, you know, not a not a perfect night, but they they are blocking some of the wind. I tell you, you see this, and it's uh, we talked about the field did look a little dead, but looks pretty good for this time of year. Yeah, for this time of year, looking looking fairly I, I good. I saw down some there. old pictures over the week, and that's why I kind of asked uh, Coach Gibby that because I saw some pictures of just fields that were really beat up right. around the state, so because it's so dry, so. We're gonna have we're gonna step away, I believe, for the national anthem here real quick. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Back to action here at North Davies, where the Senators do take on the Cougars tonight. 
and I tell you what, um, let's look at North Davies' season. We talked about that season of ups and downs. It was uh, as if they were that little hiker off of uh, the Price is Right, climbing up that mountain. And then <laughs> yeah, they, they started off 4-0 uh, and with four big wins to start off the season, and since then have dropped uh, every game for the rest of the year. And, you know, including a tough loss last week, get, helping the Blackhawks there get on the board. Right. A very good Blackhawks team that just, yeah. just hadn't found a way to win yet. Blackhawks' first win of the year came here. Uh, Blackhawks did change up their offense a little bit and did have um, the wide receiver uh, that, that hurt us out wide in the backfield. So There you go. So that's what, you know, teams make that change to get that W. And they've got to look in our sectional here, you know, our game. But that's going to be a heck of a game over at, uh, at Perry Central. At Perry tonight, yeah. And uh, talking to Coach Gibson, you know, um, brother Greg there, he was talking about how they have to remain focused no matter what because that's going to be crazy. And we're getting ready to kick off here. And yep. Hey, the drive for a sectional championship starts right now. North, North Davies boots that one away. Goes deep That is gonna through wow. the end zone for a touchback. Nice kick there by the North Davies kicker. Yeah. Uh, saw a video earlier in the year uh, put up by their film crew that he kicked a 40-yard field goal. Wow. That is a big, that's a big, that's a big leg to have, especially something you have this time of the year where you think about like if you've got a penalty or something on a kickoff, a guy can get you out of trouble there. Right. Very nice job. Senator is going to take over first and 10 on the 20. Uh, sorry for those of you at home who uh, are watching. Um, we're, we're doing the best we can here. <laughs> Some adverse conditions. So Yeah. And let, we got Parker and uh, Bobby to the right there. And uh, Roper, and there's going to be an offside. Offsides. I, the Senator is going to start off with a free <laughs> five yards. I tell you what, if you, were, if you had a prop bet, like I always say, that's the easiest prop bet in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, Senators are going to get another five yards there, and it's going to be second and five for them, and I believe they're going to be marching up. You're going to be my yard line guy tonight. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what I can do. As we as we try to huddle here like some people in a third class on the Titanic. Here Hold him with the keep. And he's going to get a couple, but not before he's dragged down there. It looks like he got about two or three on that. Yep. Kind of a hard angle here to uh, to see. And, you know, there's some great size on the Cougars uh, on the Cougars. Uh, defense front there hey right. if you happen speaking of hashtag senators versus cougars yeah senators cougars is the hashtag senators for cougars. the night so if you uh if you are got... out there in the twitter universe and want to send that one out yeah. uh that's the one to uh use all righty roper in the backfield here with holden he's going to switch to the right side as holden's going to take the snap and that looks like long. another jump wow and you know that right in there number 11 just looked like he just come off 53 excuse me and that's what it was that hard count there yeah those of you who uh, don't realize it is raining here not only is it windy but it's also raining i wonder what is it doing back in washington county right now i was trying to figure that out <laughs> it's bright and sunny 73 <laughs> i know it rained like crazy in my house okay so we're gonna have a, uh, oh look at this backfield here the wishbone backfield and that's gonna be stevens he's gonna be off and running and he's barreling over some guys he's gonna have a first down still going with the first down there nice job by he's bobby take it down to the 48 yard line what a run out of the wishbone there. Nice run there by Bobby to pick I, up I, I some guess, yards could you, there. I guess you call that the wishbone with the <laughs> – I mean, that's a full house backfield. Yeah, that's a full house backfield. <laughs> Four guys in the backfield there. I'm just going to call that the – we're going to call that the, the chicken wing <laughs> there. It's a, the, the 11 15 to go here in the first quarter Look at of this. play. Look again there. Again there, Mr. Akers. Look at that. This there. is an offense that they ran a lot last year. Yeah, here's going to be the snap. And that's going to be a handoff to Roper. And he Roper is gaining yards. Wow, and Holden with a great, great fake there as he comes off. And that really sells it to that end, that end kind of bit. And then by the time the end realized that Holden didn't have the ball, Roper's already chugging for another first down. And you know what? If we're going to sit here and we're going to have to drive all this way, the wind better be this bad for a team that really likes to throw the football <laughs> because we will run the ball. Holden will have zero completions and he won't care. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> first down again. Deep in the territory, it's going to be a handoff to Stevens. Stevens is going to cut off a tackle. He comes off another. He's going to go airborne for a second and drop about the 26-yard line. Wow, you know, <laughs> Bobby just, uh, I'm, I'm trying, I, I, you know, Jerome Bettis is what I always think of when he runs, but I'm I'm thinking Natron Means. Hey, you remember Natron Means? <laughs> yes, for the, yes. He means business there. So here we go. It's going to be second and short there. For the centers, there's the snap. It's gonna be hand off to McFeeters. McFeeters, McFeeters nice job out wow. wide. He gets skinny. He's gonna get in there. Gets He's gonna in get in there. there. Touchdown! Just like that. Don't see any laundry on the field, so there's a touchdown for the Senators. The only bright colored thing on the field was Roper's cleats, and they 
They do shine out there. They're, that <laughs> they was are. The, that was the talk in here, and what a great run. I think we're seeing a replay of it right now. Storming and cold here, says <laughs> Jessica Nance, and the Red Nance have checked in, so they said it's storming cold. So, all well, right. there we go. There we go. Motion to the left side. It's going to be the quick pitch, and I believe, is that Van Cleve? He's going to walk wow. in out wide. Was that Van Cleve? No, nope, that no, is... Um, uh, Roberts, Roberts, Ethan Roberts. Ethan Roberts, Roberts thank you. Thank you. Coach Burke's up here helping Makes us out. Makes it 8 nothing. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break from the Washington County Community Foundation. We'll be back in just a moment. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. Welcome back to North Davies High School here on West Washington Livestream. Jake Strange getting ready to kick off for the Senators. They're up 8 nothing over the home Cougars here. Strange gives it the DOS boot. It's going to be a high bouncer right to the middle of the field there. It is going to be dusted off there at the 15 and picked up. Taken to the left side, right side. Oh my goodness, doing some dancing before he is met there. Brought down at the 27. I tell you, this is what we're going to see. How can North Davies adjust here to this win when they want to? Yeah, they the, North Davies definitely wants to throw the ball around. Now so. I know, I know that we've said Coach Gibson said a lot to me about the, coming out of that trips formation that they're going to do. Are they going to? Are we going to see a uh, lot of a lot of misdirection backfield trying to get us catch us sleeping there? So that backside end is going to be very key. So let's look real quick here. Landon Pearson on this side. So they're going to be they're going to be totally wow they're going they're not switching it up a bit it's motion to the right side there that's I a, snap. oh man i tell you handed gonna... off to number eight coming around that side where he's met by the west washington line they were already flowing that way going to pick up about two the quarterback um did this first off the snap did not help the quarterback out at all and then it almost appeared that like i don't know if he was actually going to get it to him so that play does develop so that's actually pretty good for a positive because there were so many things that went wrong with that play <laughs> and it is sectional time here man i tell you it's sectional weather we talk about it as long as you're playing we always say we don't care what the weather is all righty so here we go the cougars lining up and that's going to be that they're going to be spread out here single man in the backfield Motion again this side to the Cougar sidelines. It is going to be another delayed handoff. Nope, he's going to keep. Going to be brought down Roper McFeeders in on that tackle. And he's reading that. He's yeah, he's reading the, the handoff or the pitch there. Yeah. So what that tells you that your end and your outside linebackers did their job. Yep, going to be third and five here. Very manageable for the Cougars. And that's what they're making adjustments. They know they can't throw the ball as well in this weather. Yeah. So... Although it does appear the, the wet stuff does not appear to be falling from the sky anymore. <laughs> I don't say its name. Yeah, way, way to go. It's going to come back now. All righty, so here we go. Cougars once again in that. They're going to go trips to the right. So look to this backside here towards the Cougar sidelines. There's the quick slant. Oh, he never threw it before the receiver turned and looked, yeah. hoping that he was going to be there. But Van Cleve was there covering. So was that the was that the running back coming on? That the was the route? running back coming oh, out of the backfield. Okay, like just a little. Wow. So they're going to be punting. This is hey, that's a big stop right now. So <laughs> getting <laughs> thumbs up from Darren from Russell. athletic director uh, Darren yeah. Russell. He was watching this from his car. Don't let him lie to you. <laughs> I may or may not have done that when I was athletic director for a softball game once. All right, so here we go. They're moving some guys around here. They're going to 
let's see i mean i think that we'll have a legit punt here because they do not want to miss around too much but we do have some motion so they're moving that guy in and it is going to be a punt they do get that one away it's well, a nice kick what a leg gonna bounce McFeeder's gonna pick it up where he's pinned against the sideline but is able to break oh man what three. a cut what a block there springs him but man i tell you gonna be down at the 39 nice return there by roper you can't outrun seven guys in nope. once there so <laughs> he got past the first one and i looked over his shoulder as um craig is sitting here watching the monitor keep us online here so he doesn't fly <laughs> away and then i'm looking over his shoulders to try to broadcast this big thank you to will baker <laughs> yeah will baker uh our our, our cameraman tonight cameraman. <laughs> whether he knew it or not the mouth of the the, <laughs> the, the mouth of the south there will baker he's uh we're hoping we've thank you to everybody who helped us out to make this so the center is going to be starting first and 10 on their own i'm going to say that's the 39 yard line all righty bowsman to the left side he's got a herd in front of him he's going to cut through and he's going to get skinny real quick and that's he's going to be still going wow. gain of 21. wow takes it to the 38 of the cougars just like that they're on their sidelines over there and i apologize you guys do hear that i mean it is the wind is, <laughs> it is this is what uh uh uh, Coach Powers called the flat country. <laughs> the flat country. You know, I went to school in Muncie. I know you're from. Uh, yeah. I, I know you're from Newcastle. These people don't know flat land. Too. Yeah. This them. this is definitely flat land. Yeah. All righty. Senator's going to go with. Uh, they got some twins to the right side. McFeeders the sole back in the backfield. Jake Strange here on the strong side. Glenn Rankin to the left. It's going to be another handoff to McFeeders, and he's going to get skinny again and get up. He's going to drop at about the gain of seven. It looks like. Yeah. Nice job by twenty nine. Am I okay to say that? Yep. 30 actually he got that extra yard there <laughs> so just like that we've got a huge huge gain there and it's gonna be second and short for the senators and you see the man defense that they're pulling up uh, uh that the cougars want to do they're trying to they're trying to create some havoc up front but they're not having any success so here we go t-back field for the senators and that ball's gonna be snapped it's gonna be handed off to bobby Hand off to bobby out wide bobby turns the corner he is gonna Get, keep going, keep going, Bobby. He hurled the, the top of. He hurled it, and you know, Bobby. Those Bobby, of you watching at home, he goes boom. over the top, and then continues on up through the the play. <laughs> there, nice job by Bobby, getting 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 vertical there to go over. Yeah. Now, is there? You know, there was a big call for that. It, where does that fall in uh, in high school compared to college? You know, with that call. Uh, <laughs> well, I I think in the college game it came from jumping over the line. Yeah. I think you're still allowed to <laughs> jump over defenders. You oh, just okay. can't jump over a line. All righty, here we go. T backfield once again. We got the Van Cleve, and there's the extra blocker. It's going to be a run to the left, and a McFeeders is going to get the ball. McFeeders is net in the backfield. And that. Yes, yeah, Miles, I think. Yeah, Miles comes in and makes that tackle. He was nice a, job he there. He was a great defender last year, if I remember right. He uh, read that right off mm -hmm. the handoff. Somebody saw something of that on tape, and they knew when coming in. And I, I didn't know. I pointed out Van Cleef because I know if he'd been in yet on an offensive play. He, he has been in some on offense, but this is yeah, he's seeing a lot of offense here with, with the weather <laughs> conditions and things. You know, it gives another running back in that backfield. So and Bobby's going to be wide right there. So, uh, and this is going to open it up. I tell you what, this might be – if we're going to throw a pass, I'm thinking it's on this play, this down right here. Oh, it's going to be awesome. a false start. Yep, on false this. start on the Senators. And that's a look at that line getting out in front there. There were yeah. three linemen out ready <laughs> yeah. to block for that run. <laughs> yeah, as I'm calling, as I'm calling a quick pass, which is not going to happen. So uh, they uh, do that. So now <laughs> we do look at that. So um, it's only second down still. It's going to be moving back a little bit. So it's basically like you're starting over, but you just lost it down there. Yeah. Thank you to those of you at home viewing. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Also going out on WWSR, so you can listen to the game there um, if you. If you, uh, hey, I saw some people watching the game from the RV here. They, they were, well, I mean, that's one way to do it. Yeah, I tell you, just show up the game, park your RV. All righty, here we go. Center's going to reset here as we got motion to the right. That's going to be Stevens. No, Bella Bowsman's going to take Bowsman's it. going to keep, get out wide. He shakes he gains that two. five back plus another seven. Yeah, he dives, takes the big nesty plunge out of bounds there, trying to get some extra yards, and pops right back up there tell you that's that far sideline there yeah. we gonna, have absolutely no view gonna be about two yards short of the first down marker there so tough night put it there. on the five tough night over there for the the ball boy crew there yeah <laughs> they've they've got a lot to do tonight keep those dry you know so we'll see here as we are marching now what yard line are we on right there i believe we're on the five five okay so as we look and that's going to be this is our one of our and then we're going to have i thought i heard a whistle Yes, I did not. We, we may have Bobby still pushing forward. I'm They're going to get maybe a couple. 
Yeah, and that's going to bring I don't, I don't see any bananas on the field, so we're good there. I was, Bobby was met in the backfield, but then was able to push his way on forward. So going back to that Washington game, you remember where we made some big stops there on fourth down. This is this is a big play here for the Senators. They're going to try to get in the end zone. And I'm going to think, I think it's, I'm willing to bet it's probably going to be Stevens on this one somehow. Stevens out wide going yeah, in motion. So if it is, it's going to be a pass yeah. from Holden to him. Holden with the keeper. Finds, gets in. Wow. Nice run there by Holden. I tell you what, he just hits another level again. We talk about that. And you, you brought up about the about the blockers out there just leading the way. And then you've got Sonic the Hedgehog in your backfield yeah. there. Looks like we're going to go for two here. Center's leading 14 to nothing here. Ethan Roberts in the backfield along with <laughs> Roper and Bobby. Definitely. I like seeing Roberts and McFeeders in the backfield there. They So they play more of a wing backfield. There's motion that side. It's going to be a handoff to McFeeders. He's McFeeders gonna, lowers his head. Yeah, I think he got gets in. in. As we see that, that's going to be in 16 to nothing. 16 it's to nothing. Senators out ahead. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break from Edward Jones. Uh, Ryan Kemp will be back in just a moment. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs are keeping you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Ryan Kemp, can help you. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's a new beginning. For more information, please call Ryan Kemp at 812-620-5604. Edward Jones, Marketing Sense and Investing, member SIPC. Back to live action here yeah, he's down at there. North Davies, where the Senators are leading 16 to nothing. Uh, those of you looking for places to view, we've got it going out to uh, YouTube. We've got it out going out to the IHSAA TV, our regular site. Um, we've got it going out to WWSR. So lots of places for you to watch <laughs> this game uh, or listen or catch it. You know, wherever you are, there's no reason not to be tuned in. On your to phone. The, not to be tuned in to Senator Nation tonight. Hey, my daughter's tablet can watch this game. There you go. I uh, pulled it up. I, I pulled up kids youtube and we weren't blocked on it so well there good. we go so, it's always, always nice to not be blocked all righty so 16 nothing already um hey the centers need to make a strong statement here on yeah, this defensive yeah. if they are really if they're going to prove that hey the early success that north davies had was against some opponents that maybe weren't as the caliber as their back into their schedule this is the time good news for the uh, senators they do uh not looking forward at all, but the next game would be at home for yeah. the Senators if, so they, hopefully if get they are able to get out of this one. As Jake's going to kick it off, 5.04 left here in the first quarter for the Senators. And it's going to be a line drive. Line right. drive kick right to wow. right the there. up back. Yep, yeah, back who just – oh, he's going to have cuts some, He's got space. He's going to be gone. I think he's going to get it. Turns. Wow. Uh, Look, wow. Breaking him down there. I believe that's – is that Braxton Sprouse? I think coming? that's Brax Braxton Sprouse coming, coming from the backside, dragging down <coughs> the uh, North Davies Cougar return man. Nice return there. Going to take it all the way to, I believe, the 30. Yeah, that's a great run. That's going to put, if you look at what they did on that first possession versus that one. Oh, that's no, that's inside the 30. Sorry. Inside the 30 there for him. Or as I say, over Mr. Baker's shoulder here. And uh, that's going to be the 27. So that's what we see is we see some people coming in and out. Andrew Lewis coming out of there. I wonder what the breakdown was on that. I don't know that I, I as I looked at, you know, anytime the ball is bobbled, there's always a little bit of chaos. Well, I'm not sure that the the return was set up to that side. <clears throat> okay, so, so going that spread offense once again. So let's see where the motion comes from because that'll kind of tell us what they're going to be doing here. It's going to be a direct draw up the middle. And, man, he's going to be men in the backfield if he can just get to him. We do bring him down right at about the line of scrimmage. Man. Braxton Sprouse in on that one. Good, good tackle there, Braxton. Uh, two great highlights there for the sophomore, who will be um, dependent on very heavily next year. Maybe a gain of one there. Went from the 27 to the 26. <clears throat> and you know what? That's a that's where you we talk about you you bring up the line, and that's what I said. Agents of chaos there. They've got to they've got to create that. If the, don't let this quarterback have a time to throw. Right. Get in there, make them get out of their game plan, make them have to run the ball this much. Okay, so we got trips to the right. Could be something funky here on the backside. Gonna be, uh, looks like a keep, keep by, by the quarterback. quarterback. Gets out wide. We've got one 
center that goes down. I don't know that he gained very much there. Yeah, a lot more show than Doe there. Looks like he got a couple, but man, I tell you, somebody got in the backfield there and just... Yeah, in the backfield quick. And so that's what we're looking at, so... As you know, the good news is I can see the sticks, and it's third and about three, it looks like. There so you go. I can tell as the centers are taking off all kinds. Van Cleve and Pearson coming off, going maybe with a little leaner, wider group there. Expecting a pass possibly here. So in the dime or the nickel defense yeah. here. Yeah, it's going to be trips to the right there for the Cougars. And, man, they're going to back off. Parker Green just backed off 15 yards off there. And that's going to be a draw to the right side. Jake Strange is going to get – can he get to him? Oh, my gosh. He doesn't, but is that Sprouse again? Uh, yeah, and he Nope, just, that's Roper. Roper Ro gets in and knocks him out. Yeah, I don't know where the – it looks as if – looks I, as if the spot's going to be just a touch short. short so we're going to have fourth, fourth and football. Yeah, fourth and a yard maybe. And that's what I was hoping Jake would get him because then it would set up a fourth and about a two where he was at. Yeah. But to that back's credit, he tucked the angle perfectly. Right. And Jake was running down the line at him, so kind of a deceiving angle there for, for Jake. And I apologize to North Davies. They're a great football team, but we're in the middle of a, a Ford wind tunnel here, so <laughs> I'm not going to try to pull out a roster to look at it. So um, here we go. Single backfield. Single back in the backfield there for the Cougars as they're going to take the snap. It's going to be a short – one, they're going to give the handoff. No, 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 What a play right there. Glenn Rankin. Glenn Rankin, Mr. Mr. Defense, comes in, <laughs> uh, causes some chaos. Those of you there at home get the replay, get to see that one. Bobbled handoff between the quarterback and the, the running back there. Glenn Rankin just in the right place at the right time to fall on it. Senators take over. I tell you what, if, if, if I call these guys the agents of chaos, then Glenn's the captain of that because he... <laughs> Glenn ha always has a nose for the football. He always seems to find it. It is crazy to me when you watch him on a football field. He's such a laid-back kid Yeah. through the day. He gets on here. He's just an animal. Okay, here we go. That beefy backfield there. And it's going to be a pass. And it's going to be a... Holding deep to Jake. Oh. Going to be left short, mm. underthrown. That, that is throwing into the wind there. So... Uh, <laughs> Holden, Holden <laughs> lets that one fly, comes up about five yards short. He, uh, uh, first time Holden has aired one out tonight, and now he knows, hey, the wind's coming that way. <laughs> and you know what? You look at the defenders for Norton Davies. That one is, I guarantee, we don't have the view of his eyes, but I can see from his motion, he was like, ar -gar -gar, ar -gar. <laughs> that, but, When that ball left Holden's hand, it just seemed like it was in slow motion a little bit. <laughs> All righty, here we go. The beefy backfield there is they got it. So they're going to hand off to this side, and it's going to be Roper. He's going to have to get skinny up the line here. And, man, I He's tell you. He's brought down. Nice tackle there. Tell you what. By the North Davies defender to bring him down. Jaron Rowland uh, and uh, Landon Pearson there just ready to uh, lead the, 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 the lead the charge. <laughs> tell you, and it's just one guy got through there. It was not any of their fault. They they took some guys out on their plan. Going to be third and eight on the 25. And we're down to 319 here in the first quarter. You're listening to WW West Washington live stream on Simulcast on WWSR. Hand off out of the backfield. Oh, McPeter's gone! He's gone! You cannot stop him. The only thing that can stop him is Daniel Jones. Can he get it? Oh, he got He's it! right there. Nice Man. job to bring him down I right just... at the 14. That was... <laughs> Daniel <laughs> was... Jones-esque there, wasn't it? Brad with the early call that he was gone, but uh, he gets run down from the outside. Roper, look, right there as I give him the... I, and I, I Sorry I jinxed you, Rope. The one guy who could get you got you. The other guy gave up, okay? <laughs> to my credit there, the other guy gave up. Yeah, the other guy was, was not going to catch him. But he did not want to be on the highlight film. Oh, looks like that uh, one's going to come back. Wow. Looks like we're going to have a hold, which is what sprung Roper. So, lucky for Roper, uh, that play doesn't yeah. count. There he didn't go. get caught from behind. So, that so means my call doesn't count, There right? we go. Okay. It's a, re it's a mulligan. It's a mulligan. All righty. So, we can just go back and forget about it there. Kind of like I hope to forget about the frostbite that I'm going to pick up tonight here. Oh, you're not going to get frostbite. Uh, you know, pneumonia. You're, pneumonia. You're in the warmest place there is. I am right now. <laughs> we have, we've created our own little wind tunnel here at North Davies High School. All righty. So, Craig, let me ask you. Now we go to that. That changes the whole the whole spectrum because that's a third down, right? Right. Okay. So, what are we thinking here? Uh, uh, it, <laughs> I would say we're going to see holding air one out, but I don't know. <laughs> with the wind, I don't yeah. know that we're going to air anything I, out I tonight. It may be one of those where we try to gain half of it here, and then and then just or or just try to get yourself a couple more yards. Yeah, so if you and have see to punt and, and see what it is. Yeah. 
and try to now here's something too we talk about we've drawn them off sides twice with a very hard count so it could very well be you do it now and not on fourth down right so scoreboard still says third and eight uh, <laughs> third that's about third and odin from here, okay <laughs> so if you don't know i think we're in elnora yes yes so it's like the sister cities here and North Davies. Officials discussing uh, this penalty here. Yeah, and they moved the stick. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Where, where is the okay, the line? Okay, I see the line now. Okay, so. Yeah, so the sticks were already moving. The question is, where are they? <laughs> so, ball is set. Looks like we're going to take off from there. That is one of the play. I've just noticed that a lot this year, and I don't know. Maybe it's because the officials aren't aren't um, able to, uh, you know, get that uh, get the extra emphasis there to help them out or. What I do, I do hear that they do watch our broadcast, so I got to quit complaining about them. Okay, <laughs> they tell me this, so I'm gonna quit complaining. Under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. I'm gonna say that for the comment warriors in the in the post. All right, so they're gonna bring it all here. Watch this; it's gonna be brought hard, and that's that's Matt Roberts. That's Ethan Roberts out wide, out past the first down sticks. Gonna lower his head and keep right on going. Gonna be into North Davies territory. <laughs> and North Davies like, didn't that guy just run? Oh, that was 24. <laughs> 20, yeah, 25. Wow, to have that, and I tell you what, he might be that that we talk about like that extra little shot of adrenaline you get come sectional time. He might be that guy. Because I love the way he runs the ball in the fourth quarter. I love it, the way he runs when a line is tired, and then all of a sudden you can go right back to it. You got another horse in your stable there. All righty, so here we go. It's going to be a tee backfield there for Holden. Those of you trying to tune in on YouTube, it may not be working. So oh man, uh, Bobby gets eight up there, but he's going to still least... going to gain a yard. Yeah, and that's where you look at. I don't know if that was Glenn on that side. Yeah, it was as the tight end there, and then because Parker was out wide. It just seems as if that DN came around the corner and just kind of swelled up on him. So we're going to have Jake over here to our side towards the uh, sideline as we sit there. And Glenn will be over on the left as they're going to go to that beefy backfield there. Kind of that pistol look. <laughs> I like beefy better. I think There you go. There you go. It's going to be Bobby. No, Bobby. it's going to be Holden. Holden, Holden. with the keep out wide. Going to get out there. and Gets out of bounds, I think. Steps out of bounds. Holden pulls up there just before the uh, track so that he doesn't try to run across the track on his cleats. I tell you what, though, a beautiful track, I think. So I'm not going to – I usually – you sit here, that is a that is a, a track that's uh, got a good surface to it. Not not many of those around no. in southern Indiana. You see a lot of tracks that are old and dated, yeah. but this one looks looks fairly All nice. Righty, here we go. As, as, Still uh, in the pistol look. Hand off to Roper. Roper lowers his head. And, that's gonna, gonna, and not all of them are going to be big, big chunks yeah. right now. Everybody's getting cold. Everybody's getting tired. Your body's exerting a lot more energy. So the biggest thing is to keep moving those chains. Right. And that's what the Senators are doing. You know, as long as they're picking up three or four yards on first down, you know, we're, <laughs> we're in good shape. You know, on a night where our offense likes the big play, it's nice to be able to see, like, just a, you know, a couple big drives right here. Yeah. Here you go. This is going to be Roberts. He's going to have to cut in. Cuts in. Hold on to it. All that looked like oh, a face mask. Oh, it looks mask. like a face mask. Man, from the There's white. a flag. Flag on the okay. ground. So we're okay. going to get a face mask. Okay, because I was going to – he did one of those helicopter spins. Yeah, you can always tell when you look at the uh, the running back or the receiver when they catch it, their head, because it's going to turn and then it's going to snap back as soon as they let go. So yeah. going to be a first down there for the Senators on the personal foul face mask. All righty. So, man, I tell you what, it's going to be good there. Is this going to move and we'll get the change reset? Um I do want to. I do want to take a moment to thank all of our great sponsors. I know that we've got them. As you're going to hear them tonight, um, throughout this football season. I know we've got basketball coming up. So, what can people do if they'd like to? If they'd like to sponsor, definitely get a hold of um, athletic director uh, Darren Russell at, there at the school. He can walk you through the process. Um, it's a great way to get your business out there, and it helps the school. Uh, so, and that's going to be out to the wide. Bobby's got a whole student body behind him, and he's going to. Oh man, did he get in? Looks like he gets in. He got undercut. Did he pop up? Good goodness gracious, that scared me for a second. Nice run there by Bobby. Bobby gets in. That is considered a forward <laughs> pass since Holden flipped it forward. <laughs> Uh, and then goes, Bobby whoop, goes down in the in the uh, in stat zone. book as a touchdown pass. And that's classic Bobby Stevens is that point. He pops up. Yep. And I will say it again. Bobby Stevens looks like a character you invent on a video game. Like 
He does. He looks there. So those of you uh, out there watching, we are pulling the hashtag uh, uh, Senators versus Cougars. So. And that's Roberts again, am I right? Uh, no, I think that's Bobby. That's Bobby, Bobby gets, gets in. Bobby gets in again. Wow. So, yeah. So three touchdowns, three two-point <laughs> conversions. The Senators up 24 to nothing with 56 seconds left to go here in the first quarter of play. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break from the IHSA, and we'll be back in just a moment. 13,000 feet has a way of testing a man's soul. After all, you were never meant to take on such an endeavor. That long drop is what separates human from superhuman. And here we are, right here, right now. You're good at motivation, we're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Welcome back to North Davies High School. Here is the first round of, I just say, sectional number 40. Are we eight? We are 48. 48 there as we... Uh, Those yeah. of you who don't know, that's the last sectional in the state. <laughs> <laughs> we are the furthest south, which is why this is such a, you know, gerrymandered lines that uh, make up this section. But it seems like we're playing in the center part of the state tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we've... I, I, there's selection committees that put people on there, so we are uh, definitely, uh, definitely uh, you know thankful for our sectional and uh, having the opportunity here we're not going to indianapolis thank yeah God. yeah um, so uh good news is the next game should be at home it, there was one game canceled in our sectional uh rock creek did have to pull out uh so north central uh, farmersburg did pick up that win they're the first team to advance uh from our sectional 24 nothing here senators is the north Davies is going to pick it up it's gonna that guy runs real well but not this time runs real well right <laughs> into guess who Glenn Rankin. Glenn Rankin. <laughs> you know, you look at the top of the ranks, you're going to find Rankin there. I tell you, he's he's definitely got that. He, uh, like he, I said, he likes to find the ball, and when he does, he's usually going to put his helmet on it. You know, he's a fireman, and he loves to put out fire, so he's a great defensive player there. I tell you, that's something just it, it amazes me. You know, when, when Caleb Murphy went down, who's going to be, you know, playing his first college football game tomorrow, um, I did not know the center was going to have anybody like that, but man, Glenn stepped up. Glenn stepped up and did a great job there. <laughs> and good luck to Caleb. I don't know if he's watching this or has the opportunity. Probably not, but uh, I know he's. Um, yeah, good luck tomorrow. Beat Penn State. Nobody likes Penn State, so that's good. <laughs> good, good call on that. Nobody likes Penn State. All righty, so here we go. It's going to be uh, trips to the left there, and they're going to go. And it's all oh, the balls on the ground again. Man, he falls right on it. Wow, that's the second time there that they've had a, a miscue. That ball bounced off his hands like it was a greased watermelon. <laughs> like a greased watermelon. That's a that's a new one, Mr. Mills. Hey, there you go. You don't. Uh, it was a tradition they had at Ball State. A lot of the fraternities would do this uh, crazy watermelon relay or something, and it was always the watermelons were always greased. <laughs> It's crazy. So let's bring up second and about 12 here for the Senators. Those here. of you who can't hear, the wind has picked up once again. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, as we're going to see the snap here, and it's going to be a pass this time. He's going to drop back. He's going to chuck it over the middle. It's going to be incomplete there. It's going to hit the Senators. Uh, Roper McFeeder. Roper McFeeder right in the hands. And unable to come down with it, but nice job there by Roper. And, you know, maybe North Davies said we gotta we got to try to do something yeah, here. Yeah, let's, let's try something, see what we can do. Because maybe that might have been on the first on the first play that got kind of botched. Maybe it was a pass also. I mean, you 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 have to you have to dance with the girl that you know you brought to the dance, so you, you prom, so you gotta you know try it out. And I think North Davies is uh, this weather is definitely not on their side. It's gonna be trips to the left, so backside over here. I tell you what, a quick slant to that outside guy is pro might, maybe in the cards. That ball's over that the ball's quarter over the quarterback's head. It's gonna be picked up. Holy cow! He didn't even. It didn't even look like he even. I'm looking on this replay. Does he know where the ball is? Well, it's snapped. It looks like it was snapped a touch early. And it goes off, and his, it goes off his hands he over does his not head. See, he doesn't see it. And then, wow, it bounces perfectly to... I'm not sure who came up with that. That was... I'm not sure either. It would be the left side, maybe Pearson on that side, or Jake Strange. I'm going to say defensive end. Somebody fell on it really quick there. Coach Burks, who recovered that? Here, who he said there. I was trying to ask some questions there. Inside Intel is we're going to go to 4.3 <laughs> seconds here, run a play, and then take a break. So who's going to be our commercial break coming up to? Uh, Washington <laughs> County Community Foundation there is going to be our uh, One of commercial our great break. sponsors there. 
Here's going to be the snap. It's going to be Bobby. Bobby. Bobby up the middle. Going to pick up a few yards there before he's brought down. Got a little on the outside there. Okay. So that's going to be the end of the first quarter of play. Like we said, we're going to step aside, have a commercial break from the Washington County Community Foundation, and we'll be back with the start of the second quarter after this break. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our County. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Uh, yeah. So back to live action here at North Davies where the Senators are ahead 24 to nothing after the first quarter of play. Wow, I tell you, a <laughs> big first quarter for the some, Senators. Some interesting things going on in 1A football. <laughs> We've got uh, the number one team in the state, South Adams, um, still, you know, rolling like they should. Yeah, um, Starfires are... I believe it's South Adams. Yes, Now that is. I'm thinking yeah. about it, I... They are. Yeah, my friend Jeff's okay. on the coaching staff up there. <clears throat> and then number two... Uh, Southwood. No, Southwood is number three, three yeah. who ended up having to pull out because of yeah, COVID, COVID reasons. So they're out. Um, well, Indianapolis Lutheran is two, and then we come in at four. Yeah, so, so pretty interesting uh, poll there. You just hope that you keep being in those polls every week this time of the yeah. year. Here's the snap. Bowsman's going to do a quick, it's going to be a quick roll. And there's going to look for Jake on the backside. Oh. He doesn't get it. Yeah. Then we throw it across to, to Glenn Rank. Rankin and running a deeper uh, a, route across the field. A deeper drag. And so Jake, if you notice, he runs that short drag. And as he does, he pulls Pulls defenders, defenders with him, which then opens up the backside <laughs> of it for Glenn to. And I think Holden found out he's he's going up against like sixty plus mile per hour winds here. <laughs> we got we got rain going. I've never been so happy to wear a mask in my life. I tell you, <laughs> the, keep, the mask does keep your oh, face. Oh, there's warm. a left side. How's that not off sides? It's gonna be the run to this side. Roberts, Roberts finds a hole. He and should gets in. Wow, nice shot, nice run there by Ethan. Ethan replay coming to you. Watch as Ethan jumps through this hole. And goes all off Forrest Gump right to the end zone there. Run, Just Ethan, keeps run. running. Gets through. Nice job there by Ethan. <laughs> runs the number 25, runs right to the 25-second clock there. There we go. So, man, 30 to nothing here for the Senators. They are pouring it on. They want to get back to Campbellsburg. They, they as want a quick second half. They do. Where they can be warm. <laughs> I I have no uh, I have no problem with that. If they can get some points on the board here. All righty, so backfield it's gonna be a handoff to McFeeters and he McFeeters is can he get it in, in the end yeah. zone he got tackled the first guy who tackled him he was already in the end zone Jaron yeah. Roll picks up the ball thinks he scores the two-point conversions but <laughs> hey you know what if I'm if if I'm Jaron Roll that's okay with that's me my, that's yeah, okay I with me I tell you what we're gonna step away here for a quick message you're listening let's watch live stream Links Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. And we're back here at West Washington, excuse me, at uh, North Davies. <laughs> I could not read the name on the scoreboard. It's Thurman Field, I think. Uh, so we are at Thurman Field. There is Will Baker is running our camera. That's so why you'll see him come up and clean. He's, clean. he's cleaning it, but he's also putting the rain cover on it. So. so we have that. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we are caught in the middle of a hurricane, <laughs> a frozen hurricane. And, and this is, th I can say, this is the first time I've ever called, called a game with my back to the game. 
watching. We were watching the same TV. We're wa we're watching the same feed that you guys are there at home. So, <laughs> as we can see, I, I'll turn around sometimes, but it's so much better with my back to the wind. So, Jake with a uh, low liner. low liner. And that's gonna man that rolls thing, through. Wow, has it been picked up yet? It went out of the end zone. Wow. So wow. through right the legs. Through the legs. <laughs> Thank you to our <laughs> spotter there. The future Mrs. Akers there helping us out. Uh, nice job there on the uh, the kick there by Jake. It does go through the end zone, so gonna come out to the twenty. And speaking of being cautious, always remember to look for your, your uh, motorcycles on the roads. Look <laughs> twice. Always know that there. Um, saw a couple signs of that Salem and thought of you this week, well, sir. Well, thank you very much. I do have my bike back. It is sitting in my garage, still in pieces, but it at least is there. <laughs> you know, that's when I was a kid. I loved taking stuff apart, but I could never put it back together. So. Well, this was real easy to put back together because it was like <laughs> a puzzle, just pieces of plastic everywhere. <laughs> North Davies going to take it over there. I believe they're on the 20. Yeah, so... Um, Craig, do you think they're, are they going to? Is it going to be? Are they going to try to throw the ball here? I, I mean, they're going into the wind now, so he's it's going to draw all that draw, and he was dead <laughs> to rights right there. And let's see, break down there, Parker. Break down, okay, Parker. Just Parker does a nice job of breaking down, being ready to tackle, and then the uh, <laughs> quarterback realizes the North Davies. Uh, quarterback well, runs out of bounds and gains about one. I look and I see Charles Madden yeah. and Andrew Lewis yeah, coming they, my way. They were coming back behind Parker, but Parker did a nice job of breaking down there and making and, sure yeah, that he had to make uh, a he's move. He's like, I'm not going to try to engage this guy because if I do, these next two guys are going to make this hurt. Yeah. So you got to, you know, if you're down if you're down this early like this with this score, um, as we see the fans here at uh, North Davies already rolling out of the stadium yeah. early in the – I don't they've had enough of the rain, had enough of the uh, wind, so they are jumping out uh, of uh, the stadium. A big thank you to the Cougars for a wonderful pregame buffet. It's going to be a delayed handoff up the middle. That's going to have a lot of yards there. Nice job making the turn. Ball Ball's out. out. Can we get it? Can Senators we? Senators fall. On yes, it? we do. I'll tell you what, what a great play there, and that's Glenn Rankin again. Glenn I Rankin believe. again with his second fumble recovery. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Nice run there by the Cougars. Uh, yeah. Cougars gets down the field. And then Holden, Holden Bowsman punches it out, and Glenn Rankin falls on it. Holden Bowsman goes almost like a donkey punch to yeah. the back. He Which is exactly what they do in practice. They work on that. They work on stripping the ball and punching the ball, and Holden does a nice job of doing that there coming from his the last, safety position. The last thing a player is thinking about is ball safety when they see that field in yeah. front of them. And they're not thinking about it from behind. No. Great play there. Coach Gibson loving this game tonight. <laughs> so it's all I know. <laughs> Motion to Bobby to the right side. It's going to be a hold and run. And he's going to get cut down there. Going to get the cut 49. down. Nice job by the North Davies uh, Cougars there. Read that. Holden going to get about a yard. Tell you what, a great play right there off of the uh, – off of that, and uh, you know, that's something that uh, either was very obvious, <laughs> which I kind of I was able to tell it real quick. So I said, All right, it's gonna be a hold and run. And uh, I know that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to rewrite the record books or you know, the playbook here. We're just trying to get some yards. I'm willing to bet we're gonna see a lot of Roper and Bobby yep. coming up here more than we've already seen. So, gonna be the snap. It's gonna be holding, gonna run to the wide side of the field where he gets. Uh, finally wow. brought down. He gets the extra yard after He does, contact. but we're going to get a flag. That's going to come back on a yeah. hold. Yeah, yeah. almost you could tell, I think, probably on that second rush, that second uh, as he went. Yep. So going to be a hold on the Senators. Come back and try it again. You know, it's definitely a – that's a, a, a – not how you want to set up. That's going to put up a second down long. Which with North Davies there, I don't know that. <laughs> oh, they did push him back quite a bit. Yeah. You almost sometimes think because it's down, ten yards from where yeah. it happens. So. Yeah. Because they hadn't had us in third and short in a very long time. Yeah. Thirty-two to nothing. West Washington leading North Davies. Ten thirty-three left here on the frozen tundra in Elnora, Indiana. Trips to the oh that ball's through Heldens land. It's going to pick up and that's just going to fall on it. Now, was that Holden who picked up? Yeah. <laughs> it is Holden who yeah. picks it up. So that's going to go down as a uh, – uh, <laughs> it's going to go down as a rush, rush. and Holden's going to lose quite a few yards yeah. there. I'm going to turn back around because we haven't done anything offensively since I stopped as the rain has started coming down there. 
and it's not purple it's just wet and nasty it's looking like the Colts bear Super Bowl out here folks <laughs> Prince isn't coming out to play at halftime one of my groomsmen attended that Super Bowl and uh he decided to go to the restroom and uh, concession stand during that awesome halftime oh. show. Here it goes, Roper. Roper's getting skinny again. He's still he's gonna he's die. still moving. <laughs> gonna get to the 35. Nice <laughs> run there by Roper. The only problem is that he is 5'10", 15, 20, about 22 yards from a first down there. So <laughs> that's gonna be a as the wind has uh, now picked up and we are. It was fourth and 38. <laughs> So, or third and 38, so we're going to see uh, a kick here. <laughs> Holden going to drop back and kick this one away. As he looks through the raindrops, let's just hope he gets it. It is good to him. He's going to drop, and he's going to get a good kick. Nice end kick over end, there. I tell end you. End over end, it's going to bounce and roll and keep oh rolling. Oh, my gosh. You could not gonna ask. Gonna go Look at, that. <laughs> at the 15 <laughs> where Roper <laughs> slides for about six yards before he touches it. Nice job there by Roper. Man, I tell you. The Cougars are going to take over first and 10 at their own 15. Way to flip the field there, Holden yeah, Bowsman. Yeah, Holden Bowsman makes up for it. Um, do we need to step away for a quick commercial? I break? think we're just going to stick right okay. here. This is going to be a, a You quick... just don't want to keep your – you want your hands to stay warm. Well, I, I'm I not going to tell you that I have a uh, hot hands in my I, pocket, I'm but – I do. <laughs> I'm thinking for Miss Jessica over here handing me one because if not, I, she said your hands are shaking. But yeah. I forgot I had pockets and a hoodie till a couple minutes ago. Well, so the hoodie works real well to keep the, the wind off of your, your neck and your back, and then the hot hands in your pocket <laughs> seem to work real well too. So So here we go. They're gonna they're gonna um, go with that trips once again. They're just trying to find something here. And that's what North Davies is. Oh man, that ball's down. Ball's again. on the ground gonna be handed off late. And then, whoa! Uh, I'm not sure that, who that is. It looks like Jaron Roll, but Jaren, I'm not positive. That is that Big J. That is Big Jaron Roll. Yeah, Jaron Roll in there, you know. And uh, I know we haven't called Bryce's name very much tonight, but I know he's getting double teamed. Yeah, that's that's what we're going to see a lot of. Yeah. Jake is going to take <laughs> double teams, and Bryce is going to take so double teams. So if you teams. think about that, it's four guys. Yeah. It's four guys that are going to be on two guys. So you think about that on your offensive line. So and a lot of times it's going to be a back out of the backfield yeah. that's going to be the uh, double team there. And So the question is there, and you look at that, is uh, these other guys having their names called. If you don't hear their names called, it's not because they're not doing their job. They're yeah, doing their it, job. They're, they're taking two. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, right now, big play, I'd say it's we could have a safety time here because the way that they've been having trouble, it's going to be a quick pass. It's out to the flat. out. Nice catch out there where he is then brought down right at the first stick, uh, right? Yeah. First stick. So yeah. not enough for a first down. I was looking. I finally back see. Into <laughs> uh, the, poor, the poor guy who is our, if you notice online, you're watching there, you see the guy who's got the down marker. He's wearing green. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard, hard to pick him up against the green grass over yeah. there. That, that, young, that young man could uh, definitely. Uh, have a good time deer hunting there. Yeah. I don't think anybody would spot him. So cruising Claus with that catch. He yep. remember that name from last year. We we yeah. called that one a lot when they were throwing the ball around. Yeah. So and I tell you what, he's a guy who's been out a little bit this yeah. year. I so heard he so. was he was nice. It yeah. was nice for them to be able to get him back for yeah. this game. I know he didn't play last week against Valley. So. Yeah, and that's a great from what I've been told. A great kid. So yeah, that's a good thing here as we see this. So quarterback's gonna do. A, oh, there's the Hand there's, off yep. inside. Almost like a jet sweep, sweep. type thing. Yep. Oh, ball ball out. Is down. He's, he's down. He's be down. down. Yeah. The official yep. already pointing to the ground. So that now, ball was. I, I do. I do. I do love that. You heard the whistle. We heard the whistle. But the official right there on right top there on of top the of it, pointing to the ground, telling everyone that was That's, you know on the ground. So if there's anything I can ask for out of officials is to be on top of the play. Yeah. And that uh, that line judge out there was yeah. on top of it. Did exactly what he should yeah. have done. Pointing to the ground, letting everybody know that the ground caused it. Yeah. So. Yep. Fair enough. You got that? There's no, there's no, you know, we don't have the Wayback Machine to sit here and do a replay on it, so it's all right. Fourth and, I believe it's fourth and five. The scoreboard still says third and five, yeah. but I think it's fourth. I cannot believe, if you realize, folks, that how Mr. Akers has set this up, Craig, you've done a great job. You've got us <laughs> somehow, by the grace of all things, you've, we got our scoreboard on there. We got Will's camera. We are sitting here in the middle of a wind tunnel. So we're going to take a timeout here. We're going to jump aside for a commercial break from Stewart Seed. We'll be back in just a moment. Your success is Stewart Seed's success. That's the idea behind their 100% replant eligible program for grower customers. You deserve 
peace of mind even during an unpredictable season. Maximizing your profit potential comes down to identifying challenges and capitalizing on opportunities. Stuart Seed's Agronomy Library keeps you up to date with local agronomy insights to help you navigate through the season. Our team members make it a priority to work with your unique needs to find the best solution available. Get to know everyone on our team, from the field sales representatives to our technical agronomists. Building trusted relationships starts with sharing what we know with our Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio neighbors just like you. Stay up to date on the latest local agronomy updates, harvest communication, and news from Stuart Seeds. Let's keep in touch, because that's what neighbors do. Contact Michael Trueblood at 812-620-3311. Welcome back to North Davies High School here on the West Washington live stream simulcast on WWSR Radio. I'm Brad Mills alongside Craig Akers, and we are <laughs> still about 32 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a touch cold here. Uh, do appreciate all of those. There's going to be a pass to the sideline there. All of you at home who are uh, out there watching, got 98 of you on watching right now. So uh, big thanks to all of you out there watching. Remember, if you are watching and you are a Twitter user, uh, the hashtag for tonight is hashtag Senators versus Cougars, and we'll pull those pictures uh, that you send us. So um, they completed a pass into the middle of a hurricane. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that, I mean, if you, if you're looking for a highlight tape, you're going to put you know send out to colleges. Yeah, you see that vertical rain that was coming at me. Yeah, I threw a pass and I completed it and I'm trying to check that was let's see I'm gonna be a turnover on down so the as in that whole group I'm sitting here waiting to see who had the chains the centers are taking over and they're gonna be on the 25 yard line senators looking to punch one in here we're hoping it too as Bobby Stevens is gonna rumble to the right side he goes off tackle he should cut up Phil he should be right oh good Rumbling, stumbling. He's Bobby still stops, it. gets in. Nice run there by Bobby. Stop, collaborate, listen. Bobby's back with a brand new invention. <laughs> Bobby throws on the brakes there, lets the defense go in front of him, and then is able to walk into the end zone there. Nice job by holds, Bobby. Holds on to the ball tightly as he which does is, daily and nightly. Which is super important here in the rain and the wind. Get in, get the touchdown. <clears throat> Will he ever stop? I don't know. Makes it 38 to nothing, Senators. As I will quit the vanilla ice references there. Oh, it was good. It was good. good. I tried. I tried. As we look at 556 left on the clock, 38 to nothing. West Washington in, has the Cougars in full tilt here where they don't want to be. And that's going to be run in, I believe. Yes, tackle yep. in Is there. Is that Roberts? Yep, Roberts, Roberts again. gets in with the two point conversion and there. That's something you just see right off the bat there. We're going to step away for a quick message. From Channel Seeds, Brady Bishop. Big thanks to him as one of our sponsors. Those of you who are looking to sponsor, get a hold of Athletic Director uh, Mr. Darren Russell there at school. Uh, big thanks to Brady. At the heart of the Channel brand are the relationships we build with farmers like you. We call it Seedsmanship. With Channel, you'll experience our Seedsmanship at Work services on your farm through the year-round, hands-on, customized service of your Channel Seedsman. Your local channel seedsman, Brady Bishop, knows your fields and can recommend an elite seed product designed to perform in your area and maximize the profitability of every acre. Contact Brady, your local channel seedsman, at 812-620-4624. Back to action. Back to action here at West Washington. Sorry, I had my headset down so that I could uh, <laughs> breathe a little bit there and uh, forgot to put it back up. So back to action here at North Davies where the Senators do lead 40 to nothing with 556 left to go in the second quarter of play. And uh, in case you're wondering at home, the uh, the running clock does work in the sectionals. So it's yep, just have to wait till the second half for that to kick the in. Second half. So here we go as, whole, as uh, Jake Strange is going to be kicking off. and Ball the falls ball off the tee. Yeah. First time we've seen that this year. So he's so going <laughs> to... He's going to set it up there again. He's going to get it. And I tell you, <laughs> I wonder if it'll... wonder if it's going to blow off again as he sits here. Well... If not, then number 51 there. Uh, uh, Bradley will have to go out there. Yeah. Hampton will have to go out and hold it probably. Maybe Jackson can come into it. He's there you <laughs> go. He's used to holding it. Yeah. Nice boot there by Jake. 
here is the run. It's going to be that's cruising Kloss, I believe. Kloss, yeah, he's he's going to step. Okay, out. hopefully we don't have any flags there. I don't think the and that's where we talked about the whistle. I heard the whistle, but I think it was this gentleman in the, to the right there who blew it, and the yeah. guy on the backside did not. That's why the players kept going. Nice, nice uh, return there. Out to the 36. Like we said, Senators do lead uh, 38 to nothing. Or sorry, 40, 40 to nothing, nothing yes. after the two-point conversion there by Ethan Roberts. Yeah, I tell you what, Ethan having a great – there's a lot of guys having a great night, and we'll, we'll definitely have a, have a lot in the stats column for a lot of guys that are – if I'm going to uh, – if you're going to start off sectional like this, this is how you want to start it off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, top game in this sectional is – Perry and Springs Valley. That game is at Springs Valley. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> second game was uh, Rock Creek and yeah. then North Central Farmersburg, which North C or Rock Creek had to pull out of. So North Central won that oh, game. Oh, there's going to be – oh, my goodness, driven in the backfield there. And you talk about – we hadn't called his name a lot. I believe that's Jake Strange and Bryce Brown in on that one. Yep. And then Andrew Lewis there too. So and third game in our eight-team sectional is uh, – Tecumseh and uh, – <laughs> Come on, bring uh, the other one up. Uh, that's not North Central, uh -huh. East, Eastern Green. Eastern Green, yes, which the other I Green. saw driving through uh, <laughs> today when I was on my way here. And then the fourth game in our sectional is this one, North Davies and West Washington. Yeah. Tell you what, we're, God willing, we'll get through this. Hopefully we will. So here we go. He's going to be motioned to the wide side of the field. There's going to be the pass over there. And, oh, goodness, this will be behind the line of scrimmage. That's a live ball, right? Live ball. Glenn Rankin there to help. Wrangle the <laughs> North Davies. Uh, and finally there, the ex the exclamation point, I believe. I'm trying to see that's Jake Strange, I think, coming over there. Yep. It's all the two. Once again, we are watching this via the monitor <laughs> we've got with us here on our laptop. So that's how we are calling the game because I don't know if this does us justice if you're watching at home, but the rain is just coming in squalls. And remember when they said today this was going to be over by like 7 o'clock? Yeah. It, uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's still going on. I don't think it's left. And I think we might be in the eye of the hurricane. Actually, the eye of the hurricane is a little calmer <laughs> than this. All right. Well, um, the North Davies Cougars are having to face the uh, eye of the tiger tonight. Oh, <laughs> look at you there. Sir. you, you got to be the survivor. There we go. All righty. It's going to be a pass. And pass. All. That one going to be short. And I don't know that I don't know that Jake on there got a hand on it or the hand of God there with this wind uh, got a hand on it because man I tell you that ball that ball ducked down quicker than a dove that got shot down in the field it just went down quick and there was no chance there and uh, you know you look at this if you have a team that starts off that quick you know and then goes into a nosedive like this you wonder about your confidence when you get that give up that first touchdown yeah. Do you have the personnel? Do you have the Do you have the the fortitude there to be able to kind of refocus and re? Fourth and seventeen, Cougars going to kick this one away. Yeah, and I was trying to remember that phrase that Coach Gibson said about re refocus or. Yeah, he he talked about that in the pregame about refocusing the team and making sure that the boys are ready to go for the second season. That's what that's yeah. what the Senators call this the second season. And it is. It's one that he goes. That ball is going to be snapped. Is he going to get it off? Gets it off. Yeah, high high kick. kick, Senators. We're gonna get stay away <laughs> from it, let it bounce. That one's going to be down at about the 48. So Senator's going to take over in North Davies territory. Nice uh, nice job there for the Senators. North Davies, of course, kicking that one into the wind. So once yeah. it got up, it, it's going to die. And it, it thankfully, uh, that's what the uh, you see, see the, uh, the, uh, the uh, coverage team there for North Davies <laughs> desperately reaching to try to touch that before it right. took a bad bounce. Right. We, uh, we have some special guests coming up. I've got them uh, lined up. First one is halftime guest today, which is going to be athletic director Darren Russell. Uh, next week I'm going to surprise you, uh, but I'll give you a little hint. He was a football player in the past. Oh, my goodness, Bobby. 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 He's gone. He's gone. Bobby in again for another touchdown, <laughs> making it 46 to nothing. Senators. And – just like that, take that and rewind it back. He's got it. That's not a replay, you no, know. No, that's not a replay. That's that's Bobby getting in again. If you were watching Red Zone on Sunday and you get burned on that when they, you know, they show yep. a replay and you're like, oh, there was my guy. No. And let's speaking of Red Zone, we got to. I know, I know, I know, Mister Wolf's probably listening to this. Those Raiders really got to calm down. 
Your Raiders got to calm down. The, the Raiders are doing so well. No, I just don't need them to party like it's 1999. <laughs> I need them to play that game because I need Mike Evans to play. for the. I don't care about the that. So here we go. T backfield. Fantasy football. That was fantasy football talk brought to you by Brad. It's going to be holding. Hold to keep it and get in. <laughs> he went student body left. Yeah. And then Jaron Roll, we talked about Big Mike Leach up there. Yeah, if you can get behind Big Mike and Jaron, that's a lot of uh, young men right there to get behind. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to step aside, take a commercial break, uh, hear from Stuart Seed. We'll be back in just a moment. For over 100 years, Stewart Seed has been proud to work with our friends and neighbors in Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. We remain committed to building partnerships rooted in personalized customer service and by providing locally tested products that fit your farm and help your bottom line. Local solutions, promise delivered. Contact Michael Trueblood at 812-620-3311 for all your Stewart Seed needs. When you hit that water, you're going to want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Alrighty, I've been assured by Mr. Wolf that he has talked to John Gruden and the Las Vegas, um, whatever Carson County Raiders they are nowadays, <laughs> um, uh, and they, that they they're gonna they're gonna get their act together and try to go win a Super Bowl. And they got to do that. They got to play every game. Jake Strange with the kick here with 3:38. Center's up 46 nothing. That ball's a long line drive. It's gonna be picked up and a little dance there. Glenn Rankin. <laughs> The Minister we've of got Defense. Glenn Rankin with the tackle, and then we've got a helmet out on the field that seems to have come off of one of the North Davies yeah. players. And it zoomed in there, 58. 58, yeah. so he's going to have to come off the field. Yeah, he's one of their linemen, and I think, but yeah, I don't know to what account how that. Yeah, I don't, I don't exactly know how that popped off, but it did. So he's going to come out one play. Senator's going to come in on defense. North Davies looking to put some offense together and get some points on the board here. West Washington Senators do lead 48 to nothing after uh, the first quarter and... <laughs> second quarter. First well, the, the first quarter and then three quarters of the second quarter. <laughs> yeah. So we're, there's, some, there's some math for you. There you go. 329 left here. Let's just hope that the the uh, the Senators can make a big play here and hopefully uh, get the ball back and stop this. Because I'm afraid Nord Davies is going to chuck the ball around a lot right here <laughs> in this three minutes those, and 28 seconds. Those of you uh, waiting for our special Ooh. halftime guest tonight, he has appeared. So is. Uh, Elvis Mr. is in the building. Mr. Darren Russell is in the building. It's warmer up here. I think he only agreed <laughs> to do this interview because he knew Because it was warmer is what he was what he was saying. I did I did tell everybody earlier that he was watching it from the comfort of his car, but uh, that was... Well, anybody who knows, uh, Darren knows he doesn't drive a car, so... Oh, yeah, so... <laughs> I'll tell you this much, it's one of those things when you are a uh, athletic director, th these days aren't as bad as when those early spring days. Yes. Because those early spring, I know you know, football and so baseball and softball are cold. Cold. I remember a couple of years ago we did one, uh, the girls softball had a game before spring break <laughs> yeah. and it snowed. Yeah. Like literally there was snow on the softball field. All righty, North Davies going to try to get something cooking here. 242 left, clock is running there. Thankfully as we go, and it's going to be a... Handoff to nope, it's gonna be quarterback keeping. Oh <laughs> my goodness, what a play is that? I'm not exactly I sure that was who Ethan that Roberts. was. Is it Ethan Roberts? I think so because he came it off. It is so he came off the quarterback who he was reading. Yeah, quarterback ended up handing off the ball, and then Ethan gets a tackle on the backside there. Nice job by Ethan. Ethan doing his best Glenn Rankin impression as he uh tries to do that. And 214. So you got the hard-hitting questions. Is this going to be better than last night's debate? Are you going to ask better questions? I don't know. We'll see. I'm we'll just see. hoping he doesn't kick my camera box on the I ground know. there. I know. That's what we're trying to do. Right there on the ground, we got the camera box there. Is uh, <laughs> I know that uh, anybody listening to us, goodness gracious. doesn't want to lose our camera because then they just have to listen to us. It's much better with video. Yeah. <laughs> We've got faces for radio, so yeah. we need to... 
watch it there. So, which I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that our athletic director, Mr. Darren Russell, is on camera while he's talking so that everybody can see him and how warm. Oh, he what looks. a sack in the backfield there! As we had first off, you look right there. You, this is just a total team, as you see on this replay. Boom, right there. Great play overall. Total team, as it was just a, a rugby scrum almost right there. I woke up at 3.30 in the morning the other day and hit something. I was watching Australian rules football footy. <laughs> and those guys, I, I've said it before, I was like, oh, my gosh, these guys play like football nonstop with no pads. So, so funny story, uh, a lot of the streaming thing, a lot of the <laughs> streaming companies do rugby. Yeah. Because it's huge, apparently, to watch. So yeah. um, one, of the, one of the big companies out of Indy does Indy 11s, I think is what it's called, wow. and does 11-on-11 11 11 rugby. So... And we have a time. Time out, <laughs> North Davies. We're going to step aside, take a short commercial break, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Matt Wolfer, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. Welcome back to West Washington Livestream. I'm Brad Mills alongside Craig Akers, um, or as I like to call him, Iceman, because <laughs> that's what we are. Call me Mr. Freeze. It is cold, if you, cold, folks, cold. Folks, we talked about how cold it was I, here. I didn't know it could get any colder, but it has dropped Another, even more. <laughs> the wind has changed. Uh, um, I don't know if uh, what is going on up here, but we're not. Oh, goodness. This has gotten quickly. I don't know if Darren Russell's that cold that he shows up. That, uh, he yeah, it was warm up here until, yeah. until A.D. He, Russell showed up. He comes in. So, all right. Let's see what North Davies does with that timeout. So, they've got somebody way back there. Okay, they're going to punt, I think. Yep, they're going to kick this one away. Yep, so maybe they had the wrong personnel in. That's all right. It kicks up, and it is a moonshot. It drops at the 48. It's going to 49 go. going to give him a 49. So, <laughs> Senator's going to take over there. Going to be 45.3 seconds left. I would say Senator's going to going to take a knee on this one and get into the, the locker room. Yes. I'm willing to bet in their locker room, I believe, is all the way All up the way here. down at the other end. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Because I, as I came in, I saw some some of the uh, Senator's players there coming in. I I will th I, let, first and foremost, I would like to thank North Davies. They've been very hospitable um, hosts as we look here. As, you know, they've gotten we've lucked out and been able to um, have a lot of great stuff here. They've set us up pretty good for as close as they can. As the centers are going to take a knee, I'm going to step aside and go and look up some scores. There we and, go. And uh, the man of the hour, the man of the hour, Mr. Russell, the AD for West Washington, is going to step in. Uh, we're going to take one more knee here before the clock can run out. Uh, Holden does drop to that knee. That's the final play of the first half. The Senators do lead 48 to nothing over the North Davies Cougars. Um, it's been all Senators this first half of play. So uh, from Thurman Brown Field here at North Davies, like I said, the Senators do lead 48 to nothing. Um, we'll be back in just a moment with A.D. Russell. Uh, I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Back to live action here at what or at North Davies, where I'm joined by uh, the AD for West Washington, Mr. Darren Russell. Uh, Darren, we've had a couple of questions come up. How can people uh, sponsor West Washington live stream? How can they how can they go about doing that? Uh, I I believe you've got something out where they can. Um, there's different levels that that they can sponsor, whether they're a scoreboard sponsor or you know, and and you are making individual commercials for each each group, and you know, just a lot of publicity that can be gained. Because I mean, the, the amount of people I've been overwhelmed at the number of people watching uh, 
during the regular season and unfortunately it looks like it's going to be the same thing during basketball uh, you know where we're going to have to do more of this because tickets are going to be limited and we don't have the final guidance yet as far as what winter season is going to hold but um, it's not looking good right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Darren, you're exactly right. You know, thanks to all those of you out there who have watched. We've had 800 loads tonight so far. Um, right now we've got 100 people online watching us at this very moment. Because I'm here. Um, just because you're, you're exactly <laughs> right. Just because you're here. Uh, remember, those of you out there who want to get your picture up on um, the the stream, the hashtag for tonight is coo or is hashtag senators versus cougars so our first one coming up right there and I'll, I'll be honest i've had a lot of ad's reach out to me the last few weeks and wanting to know how we do our live stream they, they've tuned in and, and saw things or some of their coaches have and they've been thoroughly impressed so you know kudos to you and uh, brad for everything you guys have done I, you know i said when i was coaching we didn't have uh, better publicity than you guys putting our, the, all the girls games on when you did and the boys and football and softball baseball everything I mean it, it's not just one sport I mean it you guys cover everything and you know there's a lot of publicity there for people that have businesses uh, let's let's talk a little bit about the two upcoming seasons you're exactly right uh, boys and girls basketball we have um, two uh, sorry trying to get our next thing loaded there uh, two um, students who are calling those games for us Titan Williams and Cash Long both have volunteered to to do all of those games so they're calling those those games um, what do you think the, the basketball season is going to look like you've talked a little bit about it what, what's it going to look like for those people watching at home well I mean you're hearing all kinds of rumors and I don't think you know anything until the season's going to get closer I know this morning or last night um, the Evansville school areas are limiting players to two tickets and that is it so you know you might have 50 to 100 people at a basketball game um, you know I, everything's just so dependent upon what numbers do and what your county health says and you know we've been fortunate as far as no major outbreaks and you know we've actually been able to increase from the beginning of the year to now as far as what we're allowing into the stadium uh, you know some some schools are choosing to do more but what we've been doing has been successful and you know it's keeping kids in school and you know and I think that as much as I want to say athletics is the most important as being the AD you know it's very important that these kids are in school I mean so you know we don't we don't want to risk something where we're going to have to shut down and, and you're exactly right that you know we've, we've gone uh, we've been creative. We've done things. You know, we've come to school three days a week and been mm -hmm. off two. We've had our junior high and high school off on Wednesdays, um, you know, to kind of limit some, some contact tracing there, but to keep the kids in school as much as possible and still allow the athletics to go on, which is part right. of school and keeps those kids, you know, wanting to come to school, keeps those kids interested. You know, I don't think our attendance has really been hurt, no. <clears throat> you know, all that much <coughs> through yeah. all of this. And it's, it has to do with the extra things that we are allowed to do because of the scheduling that we've set out. Yeah, and, you know, Mr. Nance, uh, Mr. Mills, Mrs. Knapp, Mr. Rosenbaum, as administrators, have done a tremendous job of doing that. But the big, the big group that needs all the kudos or a lot of kudos during this time is our maintenance staff. <laughs> you know, the cleaning that they do, the, you know, and there's so much more has been added to them this year as far as what they have to get, do above and beyond on what they've done in the past and you're exactly right I know you know just cleaning a single room has mm -hmm. doubled or tripled in time just because of what it takes to get a, a room you know cleaned and disinfected right. and you know able for the kids to come back into it the next day you're exactly right and I mean and it, and it shows I mean the reason we've been on a go a day off a day for the last two weeks is because so much of our maintenance staff was unable to be there because of close contacts and you know it, it goes to show school cannot run without your custodial staff and you know fortunately for us we have a tremendous group and, and you know I've, I've seen it from the other side as a teacher and a coach I mean how much they did and, and you see what they do for our facilities um, you know every coach has a certain certain way that they want things done and, and they always make sure that we have things that we needed as coaches and you know 
now you're seeing what they do for for every kid not just the athletes yeah yeah so what uh, we have wrestling coming up also which is a very close contact sport uh, but you know according to the hsa it's not a close contact <laughs> which Cheer, is cheerleading is the only cl close contact sport now explain that to me <laughs> well i'm i'm at a loss with that but what what goes into practice procedures and allowing those you know wrestling and and basketball and you know those types of things that are inside in gyms what kind of what kind of stuff is going to have to go on for those to be able to continue well i i know wrestling the mats are going to have to be constantly cleaned um you know headgear all that stuff's constantly you've got to take care of it and if not i mean you know it, it can be shut down very quickly and you know i know coach tankersley was at a conference last week and, and he came back and and bobby falcons with the ihsa basically told them he said if, if you guys want to have a season you got to do exactly what we say and you know everybody knows every coach wants to have a season nobody wants to be shut down so you're going to see coaches doing whatever is necessary <laughs> basketball you know it's the same thing I, you got to you're going to have to clean balls uh, between quarters uh, volleyball had to do it between every set or yeah. actually it started uh, out dead after, balls as yeah well. <laughs> after, as it, when it started out every dead ball you had to put a new ball in uh, you know so <laughs> there's a lot of that um, you know seating arrangements nobody's going to be allowed to sit behind the benches this year you know for home or visitors so you know that's going to cut down the amount of people that can be in the gym uh, it gives lots of room for live stream <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and but you know at the same time you've got to do these things uh girls basketball started practice on monday and there are five teams that i know of that's already shut down uh, yeah because of positive cases or, or close quarantine and you know and and that's the thing i mean you know every day every week you know it is a constant concern of mine are we going to get to friday are we going to play and until that ball's kicked off on friday night you don't know i mean that's like today at 2 30 3 o'clock it came out that rock creek had to cancel their game against north central tonight because of kids being quarantined yep yep so uh looking forward <laughs> if this score holds true uh west washington will be at home next week uh, right. Opponent still undetermined, um, but if if this holds true, West Washington will be at home. What do how do people go about getting tickets for we next will, week's game? We will have them. You know, we'll do the do the process the same way we have the, all year. You know, there'll be vouchers that'll be given to the players, the cheerleaders, and they will hand those out. And then hopefully we will have about three three hundred somewhere in that neighborhood, three to four hundred that we will be able to give out to. Uh, you know the general public and then they will pay on friday nights like they have in the past and but you, you're gonna have to have a voucher we will not be we will not sell walk-up tickets uh, and you know that's it's hard but at the same time you know you, it's you, what you got to do yeah it, it, this is not an ideal situation for anybody but you know be honest with you i when the season started none of us thought that we would make it yeah. to the tournament i, w I, I was mean, with you i was i was yeah, thankful that we I, got in week one yeah. and i thought that was it mm -hmm. i mean you know a lot of people were like oh they're going to let you play a scrimmage and then they're going to shut it down i just say has shown that they're going to let these if you do what you're supposed to do and you take care of yourselves they're going to let you play as long as you can play and and you know here we are week 10 right now and there's no sign i think i think we counted up there was only five or six games that was actually count, canceled the, uh, tonight and unfortunately there was about three of them in our area in our area so so you know that's we got to do what we got to do to to keep playing yeah well thank you very much uh Darren, for your time, appreciate everything that you do and, and helping with live stream. Uh, like Darren said, if you're interested in sponsoring live stream, uh, you can contact him through the athletic department. All the all the checks and money and everything goes through that, um, so it it you know is through the school. Um, but get a hold of him, and he is able to take care of all of those uh, sponsorship needs. So those of you out there looking for a way to participate in the upcoming uh, winter seasons, whether it's boys basketball, girls basketball, or wrestling, you can get a hold of him and get your sponsorship going. So thanks, uh, Thank Darren. you, and, and like I've said many times, thank you for everything you do for Cinder Athletics. <laughs> I mean, the, the amount of time that you spend is probably as much or more as, than I do with, with what I do. So... 
uh, you know, thank you so much. And, and again, thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank you to the, the viewers, uh, the listeners uh, with WWSR. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that that's something else that is very important uh, and, and something that a lot of schools don't have, especially a 1A school where you, we have our own radio station within the school. And what makes that so great is, you know, you everybody's got phones yeah Yeah, download the app and you know we were in florida a few weeks ago and and down there on friday night listen to the washington game i'll give you one guess as to what i was listening to on the drive here (laughs) i'm sure wwsr was playing in my car on the way here Mm -hmm. through my phone yeah so and and it's on it's on in the in the offices i mean everybody everybody at school uses it and listens to it and i mean it's it's great so so, like I said, thank you very much. We're going to jump into the Commissioner's Corner, uh, and we will be back for second half action here in just a moment. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, Here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Knighting. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bob Lovell. This is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Knighting. Hello, Paul. How are you today? Again, another busy weekend for the association right now. First of all, Bob, I'm doing great. I appreciate you asking, but Thank you know, you. we'll take we'll take busy. I'll t- I'll take it every day of the week. You know, we're playing, and uh, I'm happy to be busy right now. Well, we have uh, fall weather <laughs> has finally settled in on us. We have uh, semi-states for cross country. We have semi-states for boys and girls soccer, volleyball, regionals, individual state championships in tennis, and week number one of the 48th annual IHSA football championship presented by the Indianapolis Colts. That's a pretty full weekend for anybody. It is. It is. Uh, we'll be crisscrossing the state, and staff's going to be out uh supporting our, our schools and what they're doing and our, our generous tournament hosts that uh, are making all this happen for us. Uh, I mean, they're, uh, they're working their tails off to make sure uh, we keep moving forward. But, yeah, we're excited about this weekend. We've talked a lot about uh, football uh, and the number of games that have been played uh, because or, or the, uh, on the other end of the small number of games that have been postponed or canceled. Uh, we have not talked about volleyball, which obviously is, is an indoor sport. Have they been affected uh, volleyball-wise uh, in a manner such as what happens with football? They have, Bob. And, you know, that's uh, I certainly, you know, it's the hard thing of what we do, um, but the numbers look very similar to what football has. Uh, we had 15 teams uh, that were not able to compete to, uh, you know, to the completion of the, the volleyball state tournament this year. And primary reason was due to quarantine of their team uh, at an inopportune time, and you know, while during the regular season there's a chance to. to to get through that process, but when we get close to the tournament, there just wasn't. So ultimately, we had 15 teams of 390 that were not able to compete in this year's tournament. Well, uh, in, in the, you know, the abstract, that's not a bad uh, idea and not a bad situation, but if you're affected individually, you, you and your family and your senior year and all that, uh, and, and certainly we had the experience of going through it last year, but I know everyone's done everything they can do. It's just unfortunate that it has to end that way. Yeah, it's absolutely right. And that just goes along with the things that you associate with COVID. There's a lot of unfairness that goes with that. And you know, uh, if you want to look at it as fair and unfair, but it's, you know, unfortunately we're dealing with it, but we're still, we're dealing with it to the best of our ability. And we hate it when it, and it comes up and a kid's affected by it, a uh, community's affected by it. But I think everybody's been gracious and they certainly understand why. I may not like it and I don't also, I understand that too, uh, but they understand why um, they're not able to continue in the tournament. Paul Neidig is with us. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA, week number 10 of the football season, if you will. It is opening round for football. 5A, 6A, basically not playing. So we have one through four. It's a great time of year, Paul. We start football tournament action Friday night around the state. It is. 
you know, you always – the crops are coming out of the field across Indiana and the football playoffs are starting. And those two things are synonymous. And, you know, we've got just a little cool air and, and we're excited to get it going. Uh, you know, I know teams are ready and they've been preparing all season. And it's oh, it's zero zero right now. Nobody's lost a game. Uh, everybody gets into this tournament, and their records are the same. And we're going to let the scoreboard uh, guide us through the rest of this tournament. And you know, I, it's it's just fun to watch that fall excitement uh, travel across our state within our communities. Uh, and we're we're going to kick it off on Friday. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Knighting. It is our weekly conversation about all things IHSAA related. Commissioner, it's fun. We look forward to it. Have fun this weekend. Thanks for your time. Hey, thank you, Bob. And we certainly appreciate what you do for us and kids. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Welcome back to West Washington Livestream. I'm Brad Mills alongside Craig Akers, and you are listening live from Elnora, Indiana here as we are um, in the frigid, frigid conditions of sectional 48's first round here <laughs> and uh, it is a all out effort by the Senators tonight of 48 to nothing. We got some people that have checked in from uh, warmer places than us that we'll throw up here. We first, we got uh, Brittany Powers is that a Christmas tree already that up? It is a Christmas tree already up. <laughs> Excuse me, but you have to wait till November 1st. That is that is crazy, although my wife won't let me do it. And then look, hey, oh, there you go. It was Chuck Walker, I believe, popped up there. Enjoying the uh, beautiful... Is Chuck not coaching this year at North Harrison? I just realized that. And here's a little bit of uh, starting off our scoreboard update. It's going to be short, folks. <laughs> North Harrison Bossy, 9 p.m. kickoff. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so let's go down the let's go down the list here because I have very few scores to report to you because Silver Creek and East Central, 9 p.m. kickoff. Now, uh, I, it, it auto-corrected Chile, which is good for tonight, <laughs> um, but that would be uh, Clarksville and Paley, 8 p.m. start time. I do have two scores to report to you because also Mitchell and Eastern also 8 o'clock start time. Salem 7, Corden 0 after 1. And, Big and shout out to those guys there at Salem. Uh, I know that their crew was set up and uh, I got a, a message from J.D. Wade Swift that they actually had some hail. Oh my gosh. And then 16 to nothing, Perry Central over Valley. Hail there on the field. So we're going to kick off second half. Let's go, Senators. Let's go clock as we have this second half here. Second half, like we said, will be a running clock. So never have I ever been so happy to see a running clock. Updated score from the Lions. Senators, or sorry, Lions 14, Panthers nothing, 9 uh, 49 left to go in the first quarter. And that's at Corden, so they got a. No, that's, that's, at, that's Salem. at Salem. So they had hell there. That's yes. great. Great. Uh, J.D. Wade Swift told me that they had their stuff set up in the bleachers ready to broadcast. Hail started coming. They had their tents up, so they were able to protect all their stuff. But uh, well, hopefully, our hopefully our cost is back home or safe. My goodness gracious! Oh, better yet, Lions up 21 to nothing. Wow! Second in, quarter, the the battle of the cats there. So tell you what, that's what um, the uh, Lions trying to get their share. <laughs> pardon the fun there of. Uh, that's sectional, wanting it. All righty, so here we go. The clock is running. <laughs> we have popcorn, but I'm not going to pull my hands yeah, off. Yeah, my, my hands aren't coming off, and my mask you, isn't coming down. You it's... have, you have, Craig has his hands on the phone. I went in during Coach Russell's um, amazing interview there. To <laughs> I was seeing if I could pull any 1A uh, stuff up and see where, <laughs> see if anybody's got any scores up, and I'm not seeing any. All I know is I want them to start that clock because uh, we're trying to get this set, and why it is not, we don't know. So 11.10 is on the clock, and it is not moving. Why is it not moving? Well, why are we not moving? So uh, Lights. Maybe lights in the parking lot? Lights in the parking lot. <laughs> well, if we were at Duggar, they just pull up. There. Yeah, they pull up because it's kind of down in a valley. So, Southridge up 14 to nothing over Mount Vernon. 
Is that Southwestern Indiana Sports? That's one of the best follows I on Twitter, I swear. <laughs> we we don't qualify, but, man, they are the most accurate out of anybody. Brownstown Lawrenceburg will kick oh, off at 930. There's 9 a ball. 30. It's up in the hair. It's going to be, oh, my goodness. That ball goes up and off the hands of the quarterback. He recovers it, throws a wounded duck, and it dies right there. <laughs> Tifton 40, Elwood nothing. Tri-West 14, Indian Creek 6. Really, that's a Heritage Hills seven, Gibson Southern nothing. Wow, that's a, that's a score that surprises me because Gibson Southern, with a lot of uh, athletes on that team. So clock gonna run here the whole second half. Senators up forty-eight to nothing. Here we go as we were under, we're getting under ten. Hopefully here after this play, as we're gonna have a handoff. Handoff. He's gonna be run down. I think we do have a flag. Somebody said. I'm not going to turn around and look at the field. <laughs> As the, I don't know if Will, you don't know if you're seeing this on our broadcast, but the poor, the poor cheerleaders for North Davies, clad in all black, there in, in the raincoats, have their umbrellas above them. As they, they look like they're in the Macy's Day Parade or something down there. Like we said earlier, big shout out to uh, Will Baker. Thanks for doing yeah. our video tonight. Will the real taking over all of the uh, video. Uh, taking that off of our hands. As so I, as I try to move away from our scoreboard <laughs> camera, I do not want to screw that up. So as through the magic of technology there. All right, he motioned the left side there, and that's where that pass. Nope, he's going to cut, cut across, and he's going to drop it off. Oh! I don't know if that was ever <laughs> oh, going to no. be completed or not. <laughs> Look right there at that official said, Son, it, I'm just going to call an incomplete yeah. for you. So clock continues to run here. In one of those, that's just a, a, a flat-out bonkers play that you look at. 9-12 left. Going to be third and 10. I tell you, what a... what a. Uh, if what you're <laughs> looking for a statement game, <laughs> yeah. this what definitely a <laughs> puts, a, puts a, a statement out there. You know, a lot of people said that this North Davies team was going to be the, the yeah. you know, in the top tier of this sectional 48, and the Senators have come out and hung 48 on yeah, them in the first 48. half. 48 here in sectional 48. Um, it it goes back to my statement about you have to like you were saying you have to you have to show hey you on a night like tonight that you are the best team in the sectional. That's how you feel. That's how you play. You have that on you. It's not it, there's a difference between confidence and cockiness. Yes, and the sen and the the senators come out and they play the game. This is this is the way they played the whole year. This is the way they've warmed up, the way they've done halftime. Nothing has changed. It's exactly how they've done it all year long. They are who we said they are. Yeah. <laughs> that, that phrase, you know, I'm trying to think of Dennis Green. He had that rant. We, they are who they thought we were. They were. All righty, so we're going to have a quick handoff there to McPhee. He's going to take a cutback. Those of you watching at home, um, if you've got uh, – uh, updated scores definitely yeah. shoot them to us let us know yeah we're not going to check our phones too much as we huddle around our laptop which yeah. is somehow not gratefully working um i tell you what in this performance this week there's a lot of heavy hearts in the community there's been a lot of stuff and our thoughts and prayers go out to the armstrong family and uh, you know beth and met so much this she was a super mom for this uh program always very cordial to me um, I know you too. I don't know if definitely, you had any... definitely. I I had uh, both both of the sons that have come through uh, the school uh, so far. Had both of them, you know, and and Beth was a, a great person. Did everything she could for, you know, the the community and the school, and you know, just just you know, a great all around person. And Roberts is going to rumble, bumble, and stumble. I don't know how much he got on that one. It looks like he got a little bit of forward progress. And then another uh, close close member yeah. to the to the senator family. Um, Brian Chastine. Uh, I know Big very thankful for the volleyball whenever you were able to broadcast that because yeah. I know he wasn't able to come out to a lot. And uh, uh, I spoke with him at prom uh, last time that I really spoke with him, and he was very excited to be there and uh, be able to. Uh, Allie, um, you know, great kid, and Lizzie and um, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> Ella's a little brother. I always forget the little brother. <laughs> Um, three great kids and Michelle, who's you know our amazing oh, art, teacher. our amazing art teacher there at school. Uh, so big, big shout out to all of those families. She's going through a lot right now. Going through a lot, Senator Nation. Um, but rally together and, and stay strong. Yeah, and that's kind of how that's something I know we're both from outside of the community moved in. So 
it's definitely you, something you, you get adopted <laughs> when you move in you become one <laughs> my wife my wife watched me go through about uh four boxes of stuff and i was like going to goodwill and it was from other schools and i was like i'm i look better in red wine blue so uh, <laughs> but it, it's always funny how you're how you're greeted at places um and west washington you're greeted with some gear it's yes. like hey uh you just started teaching here here's a couple of outfits for you yeah. to wear <laughs> you have that pride and that's something you see and that's what you know I will say you see right now on this field these kids and how they attack that's something that I know when I interviewed I said hey I don't know what it is but they just come out and like the community and the support they have in here and people might say oh you're it's a great run there again just getting some yards you know yep. some time you know but hey this is this is a passionate community this is the reason why small schools in Indiana public schools need to exist and and that's one of those things you know people people say you know what how do you how do you who watches your games who's out there i'm like the people at home yeah and and you know tonight we've had close to four thousand people you know tune in and and click on our our stuff and and watch and you know we've had upwards of of 300 on you know most of the most of the time watching the game um you know so people are out there watching alumni they, people spread out a lot you know not everybody stays in you know campbellsburg for, uh livonia or you know fredericksburg they move away and they still have that as a snap here is going to be yeah little handoff and oh he's gonna keep getting some yards that's enough for a first down there for the senators as clark nansen at quarterback there i just realized that yeah i didn't realize that was clark in there either yeah so, so that's nice job by grayson clark McCoy. and that's grayson mccoy yeah and ethan roberts in the backfield so these guys getting some danny some, scott there tied in throwing some blocks and uh let's see that 18 over there that is a uh, ball right yep, yep. so he's and over. then five uh that is uh that is, is that Jackson? Yeah, it's Jackson, Jackson. Cameron yeah. comes in, gonna play some receivers. <laughs> we so. apologize. We had to. We had, it seemed like we looked our. We're having this heartfelt moment, and we look down, and the whole the whole offense. Yeah, whole is gone. offense changes. So, if all if all right, hey, that's what you like in your program. Yeah. You can run the same stuff. And this group had a great JV season. That's gonna be Grayson. He's gonna try to find some pay dirt. He's not gonna still stop moving, running. Still He's moving. Still moving. He's got it. Gonna see the end zone here. He gets all the way through into yeah. the end zone. Nice run there by Grayson, Grayson McCoy. McCoy. Wow. And that's just that's something that you're gonna see a lot in these upcoming years. He's already that's his second varsity touchdown on the yeah. year. You know the freshman turns his shoulder <laughs> there, gets the edge, and then sees the cutback lane. Yes. <laughs> to get through. Nice job there by Grayson. As some of his, uh, he kind of outruns his, his defense there, so his own offense. And like, there were some guys just throwing their hands up. I Not, believe we're going to see the freshman connection here come in and connection. try to kick an extra point. <laughs> in these conditions, in, can well, you the know? good news is they're going with the wind, okay. so they should be able to, I'm the gonna, wind shouldn't be a big effect here. All righty, so here we go. Doss boot time. Oh, he gets it down. Oh! Up. Squeaks it through, so Ian Rosenbaum <laughs> tacks on that extra point there. Nice job by Ian. There was no rush, thankfully, because I think Jackson went to set it. Right. And he had to, like, turn it, but he got it, and good to go. All so right. we're going to step aside, have a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Back to live action here at uh, North Davies. So Will Baker told me I'm not allowed to shiver because it makes the camera move up and down. So <laughs> I'm going to try my best. To, to help you out. Uh, Brad, I know earlier you said you weren't sure who this field was. It's Thurman H. Brown Field. Thank you. I heard it during the uh, halftime there as I was listening to the other uh, the other uh, broadcasts as they were coming back. And anytime it's named after somebody for something special, I, I, we need to do a little more research. I think when we go yeah. to some of these, because I think it does mean a lot of special things. You know, you come to our field, Art Sanders, what he did to. Uh, you know, start the football program. Co coached forever, it <laughs> seems like. Some of the alumni have said. Yeah. Ian Rosemont kicks that one away. Hey, great kick. Look at that bounce he got. Gonna bounce. Fielded at the 20. Look at that coverage, though. Great coverage. But, man, can somebody just – there we go at the end. Now we've got him. Going to oh, come yeah, down, and gonna we're going to get a face, flag. Face mask. I believed I believe not on that first one. I think it was on the second. On the yeah, I think it was the second guy yeah. that got there. It's going to be the face mask. Like you said, that head kind of went back, so that's yep. what I'm going with. 
but you know what? That clock keeps on moving for the Senators. Yep, clock keeps moving. Even with the penalties and everything, it, it still continues to move, so. Man, I wish some of our, if, if we had anybody listening, if they would tell us where they're listening from, like, that would oh, be really there we awesome. go. If you are, if you're really far away, we'd really like to know. Just give us a, use the hashtag. Yeah, hashtag and shoot out your state, and we'll yeah, be able to pull that up. That's pretty cool. Just that, you know, you don't have to put a picture. We can just. Yeah. Just, if you want to put a picture, you can. Great. But I like to see some of those. Um, you know, speaking of which, I actually, um, it's kind of sad we didn't get to play the Salem game because uh, Coach Blair Thompson's uh, sister was going to be watching from Flagstaff, Arizona. Yep. Yep. So uh, she had the link, and uh, <laughs> I had some people, alumni. We had some people at the Washington game. We played Washington who were alumni who lived in the middle of Illinois. <laughs> Ball's on the ground. He's going to pick it up and run it. He's going to have some daylight there. He's going to be that Van Cleve. Van Cleve was there first. Spins out of that one. And that looks like Bradley. Bradley Hampton, Hampton there. brings that one down. The lawnmower man for me. <laughs> he brings him down. <laughs> does it's, he mow your yard? He does. Him and Addy, do, Addy Peralta do a good good job. They, uh, they, I, uh, I remember you saying that, that they were in char They were your, your yard crew. As I, I had to go off and I had Steve Irwin, the, not the crocodile hunter, but uh, – did some yard work for me to help reshape my yard there. Now they have less to mow, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all dirt. We have a retaining wall put in. We've got our, you know, it's just one of those, you know, you know, it's just difficult. Anytime you buy a house, home ownership, you know. You guys are down to one home, though, thankfully, yep. right? Yep. So, and got some land. Oh, man, look at this cutback. He's got nice some hole space. there. He's running. He's going to be gone. Going to be gone. Going to get. Oh. oh he's going to go in. and somebody Going to get in touchdown there as he looks and that's what you look at real quick there those of you listening at home i'm getting some uh, calls that we're skipping a little bit on our bandwidth yeah. uh, so seeing what we can do to make that any better at the yeah. moment as we say we are sitting here the rain has stopped but the wind has not yeah, yeah we are still we are staring at um, north davies high school um, to call this game which is even though the the good news is when you're up in a football game, usually the coaches go down the sidelines. I don't know if Coach Burks really wanted to come down on the sideline there. Maybe. Yeah, it was it was plenty. Uh, it was nice and warm up yeah. here when they were blocking the wind. I know. But now that they're not there anymore, it's it's not as nice. As we're sitting here trying to do some adjustments to our – as Mr. Aker is trying to do that, we were trying to figure out some stuff as we're checking our speed, which is – it's amazing what this man does. And I tell you, thank you, big thank you to, uh, to uh, Coach Nance, who was able to get up here and get our uh, – Get all of our stuff for us because uh, he was able to give us some wonderful, uh, <laughs> well, a couple wonderful uh, things to cover up the wind here, and uh, we are basically in like a little pole barn on the side of the, on the side of this, and there's another group on the other side, I think, but I think theirs is enclosed. So maybe we should have brought some of that pet plexiglass from school and just. That's the biggest thing. If we had one on the front here, I think we would not feel anything. There we go. <clears throat> Hopefully that uh, fixes some of the uh, skipping issues yeah. there. Uh, I tell you, I'm just thankful did, we didn't do. realize uh, streaming definitely takes up internet, and when you have 42 windows open, it kind of bogs down the internet a little bit. So yeah. got to close some of those windows. So you hopefully know, that that helps you guys there at home. You can 42, you can see. Forty-two. You know, that's just it's fine. Yeah, just a few. I mean, lots of people try to get a hold of me, and lots of people try to email me, and I got to have yeah. a lot of windows open. You know, so. my wife told me her phone did not work, and she handed it to me, and it's an iPhone. If you know anything about an iPhone, it shows your windows, right? So I sit there for no lie, eight minutes closing windows that she had open <laughs> and she did not believe me and i said you have stuff open from like the obama administration it's this old on this phone it senators senators do lead this one 55 to 7 16.8 seconds left to go in the third quarter so we're gonna have play. this we're gonna have this kick off and then we're gonna go to the third quarter so yeah we may get one well no we probably won't because <laughs> the clock continues to run so yeah so it's gonna be here is there are they going to try the on site they're going to pooch it and it's going to go through but they're going to fall on it there good job senators uh just got a text from mr joe walker school board president he is listening from howard township Ooh. and they are starting to get our weather that is here there there so uh big shout out to to joe walker uh long time listener first time caller first let's <laughs> use that one <laughs> You know what's what really? We are both in where we live. I'm in Washington Township. Are you also? In yes, Washington? I am in Washington. So Township it's like also. It's, it's one of those weird things. Like Washington Township, Township in Washington, Washington County. County. Yes, and I lived in when I lived in Corden. I lived in North Harrison Township, not Harrison. It was Harrison Township, but I was in North. North. So I had to go to. It's according to where you went. So 
t these poor people talking about struggles of going to vote, which uh, make sure you're going to vote. Um, yep. It's it's uh, it, it's it, I feel their pain because I'd go like three different places before I found the right place. Well, and I'll I'll give you a hint. Washington Township, there are four places to vote, but they're all in the same building. Okay, good. <laughs> Along with four others. <laughs> well, you know. You know, we've got this. We have a very big election coming up, so you know, that's on the topics of all. Definitely good to get out here and some high school football, kind of get a distraction from that. And all the that we say, we say it every week. This is one of the few times I do feel, I do feel normal. It's it's, it's a good feeling <laughs> it, to have. Things things seem to be normal because we have the the same setup. Yeah, it's different here, but it's the same people, yeah. same same way yeah. of doing things. So that's the normalcy to the to the week it, is honestly, the Friday football and game. It feels after a long week as I see our uh, a lot of our students go, some of our students going to warmer locations there. So showing up there, so waving hi to them. They may be heading to some RVs out here that we have parked. Clark's going to take the snap, and he's going to hand it off to Ethan. Ethan's going to cut back in the inside. Gonna he's going to gain about one. <laughs> nice run there by Ethan Roberts. Definitely Ethan downgraded on his line there real quick. I think he, he knew <laughs> you get one cut typically with younger linemen, and he took about two, and then that's where And that was it. And so we know, see Kenton Chase checking into the game. Yeah, Kenton, Kenton, we haven't called his name, you know, a lot, but really not his night with this. It, right. With this weather, it's, it's not going to be a Kenton Chase kind of night. No, he's a... Uh, and I don't is he now is he where is he yeah he's number 11 okay, yeah he's 11 he on the top side yeah I was looking I was trying to figure who's on the bottom side here so that's Parker number one is it number one or number seven number seven is he okay I can't tell he tells we looking he's gonna come on that side he's gonna ride out and oh that we got the flag we're gonna it's gonna be late have hit. a late hit yeah. out of bounds clock's gonna continue to out. run just, just get out of there Ken just get out of there <laughs> nothing good happens on a sideline like that you know, and that's in, in a game like this, <laughs> you just don't want anything. Good news. Got a got a, uh, a message from our uh, second quarter sponsor, okay. uh, the Combs family, who I believe may be in an RV out there. I, I, um, <laughs> they, they say their signal is good now, so it's not skipping anymore. So go. hopefully the rest of you out there watching and, and listening, uh, it is working. second quarter sponsor, Jeannie Combs. Always, yep. uh, she's she's one of our favorites. <laughs> that's so weird. I wonder how many people in their RVs, if we do have really cold weather, will be watching the game and <laughs> at the game. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, uh, the the funny part is, I don't know how many people have my phone number until I start <laughs> saying that kind of stuff, and then my phone starts blowing up. We do have our names in a directory, which all yeah. the all the employees do have. So, yep. I uh, I definitely was very thankful I had that during quarantine to yeah. you know uh, be able to shoot some texts and stuff. Clark's going to take snap here quick draw up the middle to Ethan. Ethan's going to try to get skinny and he's going to get a couple yards. Going to be about two yards short here. 9.56 to go here in the fourth quarter of play. Tell you, tell you what, doing radio when the, it's cold though, these earmuffs slash earphones actually work really well. Oh yeah. Only the best for you, Mr. Mills. Only the best. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rager. Thank you. <laughs> As we try to stay warm, we know next week we'll be home. Yeah, next week we will be super warm. <laughs> I will bring a space heater if I need to. Uh, Perry leads Valley, thirty to nothing. So Perry's in full gear. That's the, that is you know we look. That's the. That's the that, other side of the bracket. That's the uh, top half, which um, I don't Perry think. will if if that whole score holds true, they will take on uh, North, Central. North Central. That game will be at Perry. Yeah. <clears throat> which you know that that helps us out because if we. If we should advance to the championship, then I believe it'd be at home. Should be at home. That's that's. Uh, <laughs> it, it all kind of depends on how the state looks at those that forfeit that happened with yeah. um, North Central and Rock Creek. Is it? I would assume it's a forfeit, so it still counts as a home game yeah. for North Central. Yeah. I think that's the way that works, but I'm not 100% positive. So nobody, some... nobody basically wants to run, work, drive to North Central. Is the uh, deal. Well, <clears throat> and I hate that because North Central had a really tough we, go at it this year. Great. We drove to North Central, and it was, yeah. uh, you know, it was a, a great football field. It was a great. We had great hospitality. The game was a fun one to call. Yeah. Um, they just were. They, they had a lot of injuries and and coaching COVID things. And, a new and, coach on Monday. And a new coach that week, so it was it was an interesting game to call. Yeah. Um, I'm getting some Stacy Nance sitting here sending me a text. Let's see what we got. Listening from Franklin, Tennessee, on the road for softball. Oh, Stacy is Franklin, Tennessee, on the road. A there. Little uh, uh, Indiana Fusion Elite action, I believe. Oh, is, look is, at you. is where she uh, 
that is who she plays for, I believe. 55 nothing. So Ainsley's not here then. Is it? Is it? Is Elliot? Elliot is, is on, on the road, I believe. Okay, I don't know if Ainsley is is playing or not, but yeah. I believe it's Elliot's team that's in in Tennessee. Because I talked, I talked to Gracie Abels, who said I thought she had a softball tournament this weekend. She, I believe Gracie does have one this weekend. I think she's she may be playing at uh, the Lassie League in Greenwood. There you go. 7.36 left for all of our radio listeners. 55-7 to 7 South West Washington. Oh, my goodness. Little Lots re- of room there for <laughs> the North Davies running back to cut it around and get going. Yep. Oh, I thought he lost it. but it was Nope. <laughs> Tied up around the ankles by number 70. That's coming in. That's going to be uh, for us. That is, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to figure out kids as we see here because we have so many. We, new we've got a lot of new names, and I now see what the other team said about trying to see numbers on these jerseys. <laughs> the the white with the silver. It's a little difficult to tell, especially when you're looking on a screen and not yeah. at the live action. And you know the the uh, North Davies is kind of like when I was at Crawford. Everybody tried making our brown black, <laughs> and uh, the coach is there, and it was you know not a school color. Uh, and it's kind of like what our jersey will look like there. Oh, man, that ball is going to be dropped. He's going to try to pick it up. He does. Picks it up. I thought he was going to throw it there. He's still looking, 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 throws it. And it's going to be nice, nice hands there by Bye. number five. That's Jackson That's Cameron. Jackson Cameron with the knock down there. Good yeah. job, Jackson. I turned around for that one to see it because I knew it was going to be a pass. And Will does a great job of following this. You never miss a beat. He never gets faked out, so that's good. Updated start time, East Central Silver Creek going to start at 9.15. Oh, my goodness. Could you imagine if well? So yeah. about the time we finish is the time they're going to start. So we have lucked out for our location tonight, even though it's been week one of football. Man, Drew Redfield <laughs> at WDRB <laughs> was not wrong when he said it was going to affect Friday night. Yep. Wow. So here we go. That's Under bit, six minutes. Oh, that, oh, my goodness. Almost the play of the day there. There's another one driving him back. Nice job there. I believe that's, that's Roberts. What it looks like? Is it? It's number. I'm trying to pick it up here as we look. That is number 50. Oh, that maybe that may be. That was a. Uh, I'm not sure that's not Bradley Hampton. I'm not sure that's not 51. Yeah, 51 or 59. So we've got quite a few as we look here, <laughs> man. I tell you, you turn around, you can look, and you can see. Uh, and I don't know if I really want to turn around and look and see because it's so cold. <laughs> you get the wind blowing at you. Yeah, it's definitely. So I think we're going to have a timeout here. I see North Davies walking to the side. We're going to step away, have a commercial break from the IHSAA. We'll be back in just a moment. Never miss a big game by downloading the IHSAA TV app for free on any device. For your iPhone or Apple TV, check the App Store. On your Android or Android TV device, load up the Google Play Store. Have a Roku or Amazon Fire Stick? We have the app for you. Check us out on Facebook Live, Twitter, or YouTube Live by searching for IHSAA TV. Or as always, click to IHSAATV.org for quick and easy access to your favorite IHSAA live and archived events. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student-athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. North Davies takes a quick snap. They're going to throw it out to the flats, and it's going to be incomplete. And just like that, um, whatever they saw offensively kind of just swelled up. If not, Mother Nature blew it back at them. A lot of younger players in there, so you know that's like you know you're trying to you're trying to honor your seniors. Yeah, and side. you you want to make sure that your seniors uh, get their just due, and that's what you know we saw some. I think on that touchdown, you know, our JV defense being out there. But, you know, hey, doesn't matter if we win by one or 100. So next week, I'm going to say, that's the Tecumseh and uh, Eastern Green, Eastern right? Green, and I haven't seen a score for that game yet. Quick pitch to the outside, and he was dead to rights in the backfield there, and he just shrinks away. And this kid's got some speed, and he's going to be – in the end zone. Going to get in the end zone. Nice run there. Unable to be brought down by the Senators. Yep. 
Give you a replay of that one. A nice cut there. Yeah. You see right there in the backfield, that's where he gets the extra thing there. I believe that's Danny Scott there. Just um, got there, but unable to wrap him up and bring him down. You know, when it's your Danny's third year of football, I believe, overall. So that's definitely something putting yourself in the right place and then just figuring out what you do to get there. Kind of so, like having all the ingredients for a recipe, you just don't know how to cook it. Senators still lead 55 13. As the, as the center there just went up and grabbed the quarterback's arm. Oh, okay, no, he's <laughs> they're going to kick the extra point here. This kid's got a good leg, we talked yeah, about. Yeah, he's going to be kicking with the wind. Mm. <laughs> das Boot is good. That's that soccer style, style. kick. <laughs> you know, the off to the side and kick it with the instep. Um, different than how Ian Rosenbaum does it, <laughs> where bash. he lines up and, and it's called a toe basher, where he, you know, kicks it with the toe of his foot. Uh, well, that's like I've seen. I've, um, I, I thought of Tim Stratton, a kid who had it down in Logan County, who love to kick more than anything is that just whew. that wind is just brutal it just keeps coming coming i know that people are hearing it at home my goodness this wind is going to take us back to the ice age so as they sit here but you know what i believe that as soon as we get this kicked off that clock will be running again so and that will probably be the end of this game yeah 318 left to go here senators up 55 14 over north davies like we said uh if if this score holds true the senators will be at home next week probably you know eastern green to come so you could probably sometimes flip a coin flip a coin there on that game like i, watched, I said i haven't seen anything coming back i know i watched him only got uh six games in i watched him play year. crawford last week on the crawford's feed and uh it was a pretty easy win for the braves there that's going to be a high pop-up kick. It's going to take a bounce right into the arms of, I believe, I Kenton believe that's Chase. Kenton Chase. Kenton's looking for something. He's got it. If he wants it, he's got to get it. He's got it. He's going. He's going. Around he's still going. Edge. Wow. What a great, great run there. He's going to go down at about the 37, I believe, is where he's finally brought down at. Agent 11 there. Off and running. Clock running here. 2.55 to go. <laughs> great job over there. Jake Tankersley and uh, uh, Holden uh, Russell and uh, I believe, uh, let's see, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah Dennis, Dennis, I believe, is the other ball boy yeah, over there. So. all over there doing a great job of that. As the poor ball boy for North Davies didn't look at the weather report because he's wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so we know. see Clark Nance in the backfield trying to stay warm, moving his legs around. <laughs> it is a cold, oh, cold God. night. Can you, you know how I earlier when I noticed that, how it was Clark, it was not from how tall or his number. His jersey was how that clean wide. it was. It was. It's still clean, it's still so clean. that's good. That's, that's a, good. That's a good thing when you sit there and say that some people, I saw a really cool, I believe we're going to take a knee. Yep. Because you see Grayson McCoy is back there, so they're going to stamp it into the, everybody standing up. So we are taking a knee. Goodness, so. We think about this. There's a lot of things out of our control going into next week. Every day we sit here. I know we talk about this, and this is a team that this is a team that's going to do special things. Yeah, I really yeah. believe it. If given the chance, if God willing, we can avoid all this bad stuff going on in the world, I believe it's a team that can that can go right back to where they were last year or even farther. That's that's a. a a true statement to make it'll be an interesting run for these senators uh like like the coaching staff has said it's it's one day at a time one game at a time yeah. you know seeing what you can do how you can do it where you can uh where you can where you can make progress each each day and make yourself better um you know the senators come in undefeated they're going to leave here undefeated um looking next week at playing another game at home i know they were looking to um you know finish off their regular season with the salem game there at yeah. home they're going to get to play a sectional game at home yeah you know you're playing that sectional game at home and uh that's something you you know you're never guaranteed to ever you know play your last game at home but you don't want your last game to be at home because that means you've not gotten all the way to the dome right or in this case lucas oil so these boys want to win every chance they get as we're going to take one more knee and we're going to get out of this ice box. I'm going to crank my heat up to about 
three million degrees. <laughs> I have heated seats, so oh. we're gonna we're gonna definitely have those going on the way home. So that's gonna bring us to the end of the game here. West Washington does win 55 to 14. We appreciate all of those of you who have tuned in and watched us uh, throughout the season. We will be bringing you next week's game from home, from Art Sanders Field. Um, as soon as we get things uh, put together and the links up, we will get those sent out to everybody. Um, so if you can't be there, you better be listening yeah, next week. Better be, be better be listening. So <laughs> once again, thank you to all of those of you out there. Senators are victorious tonight, 